Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Fun Time Adventures. Primarily because Brain was just being Brain, you know, as it typically does. And I figured that, like, uh, since Brain is very happy with Breath of the Wild lately, that we shall continue it and then... I'll try to really rearrange my brain to get it to work properly, hopefully. When it comes to, like, uh, doing Persona 3 Portable again in the near future. Primarily because this way I can stream, feel good, brain be, be, be's a weird one. Because brain is a weird one. But that can just, like, then I can just basically get back to doing Persona 3 when I'm in a good headspace. Which is the important thing. Hopefully. Because I do want to get back to it. I just have to manage the diddly damn brain. But last time we did things... Uh, we were gonna head down here, go about the road to that tower, then go down to the stables, those shrines, and just make our way, presumably, uh, to the Zora's Domain, to that tower. So, let's get off this chilly mountain and go! Go on a magical adventure across all of Hyrule. Is that a bird? Hey, bird. Ah, oh, that's not gonna roll at all. Let's grab these. Rush room, I believe it's called. Might as well. Gather resources on our way, our journey. I think that jumping down slightly and grabbing again would, like, Annihilate your stamina more than save it. But I am not a Legend of Zelda, so what do I know? What's a goat doing up here? We shall bomb them. How many arrows do I have? Hmm. So roll bombs are definitely the way to go. Why are you even a Korok? You're just, like, you're not even on top of anything. You're not, like, on the top of a bigger rock. Take this. You little heathen. I like the little piano pit, the piano pieces. Like, I know that people really do lament the lack of like, really good Zelda music, because Zelda has some really good music. But, there's just something different about the, the music in this game that I do rightly enjoy. Hmm. Actually, I think we might do some mining, since I have hammer. See if we can find good things. Resources for the future, as well as just potential things to sell. Since I'm roughly in this place, I do believe that that camp of evils respawned because of the blood moon not too long ago. Not too long ago in universe time. Hey, you're sparkly. Does that mean that you have good things? Had amber. Amber's pretty good. And how do we smash you? Smash! You have to be creative when attacking the wall, diddly dees. Still, just never knew that those guys swam in the river. 
quit climbing when we have mining to do. And there's even like some, I think, to break along the banks. And there's a destroyable. I just, there's more things I keep discovering. All right, what's in you? Just a treasure chest. Treasure chest is good. Open sesame. Traveler's bow. I already have quite a lot of those. But now you'll just be there eternally. What if I bombed you? I shall climb away from you. Ah, uh, darn. Don't have enough to rush it. But what if I did this? <laughs> Just enough to rush it. Sayonara, idiots. Let's see. I'm not just a normal rock. If there was one of these things but that big, that would be great. And more rush room. More amber. Amber is definitely seeming to be the most common of the rock collectibles. Which I guess it makes kind of sense. I like that Link kind of angles himself when trying to swing at like the rocks that are slightly taller. Hmm. I'll just use my ice powers to try and make it. I am a fool. And we will not be fishing in case the diddly dees come for me. Unless, idea, I was off to the side. Huh, I was wishing that I could like raise the the fish up. Well, that's just very mean. Bombs for you. Hey, you have a... Well, if their head goes into the river, could they ever reform? No. Give me your diddly dees. Is there any weapon that's like... Well, I highly doubt that we have much use for you. And if there is, I can just, like, go back to Hatino Village. And, of course, it begins with frickin' rain. Eternally rain. Like, are there no monsters here? Are there no monsters, or are they just asleep? Huh? <laughs> just no monsters, it seems. I don't think I killed these guys. You know, before the... The blood moon happened. Oh, if I see you, random Korok. I'm gonna grab these sneaky snails first. Oh, so sneaky that you can see them with your eyes. Now, where did you go? Uh, I think you're just going to go across the river. Might as well. Get me a Korok seed from YouTube chat. Sup? Hello, hello. Today, we're going to just go about things in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. See if we can... Grab some more towers, head our way to Zora's Domain, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I just might as well do some Korok diddly-dees as I come across them. Because 
inventory upgrades are very, very nice. And we should never turn our nose up at them. Lest we, lest we enter a very painful section of our lives where we have many things we want but cannot have. Alright, the plan is to follow this until we get to the bridge. If it weren't raining, I would try to get you. But it is raining, which means climbing is terrible. How dare you! I probably could have actually gotten that Hightail Lizard because it Hightailed it right to me! I was not expecting that. I was gonna say, how dare you, Choo Choo, you scared the Hightail Lizard away. And then my presumption against the Choo Choo caused me to lose the Hightail Lizard anyway. We shall blow up this boar in retaliation. And of course, these guys decide to come in and ruin my hunting. Thank you for picking- oh. I guess I timed it just the first frame that he picks up his head. Just to send it flying. But I have no time for you, random skeleton monsters. Huh, even the skeletons are smart enough to avoid the rolling death ball of doom. Oh, these breakables, breakables. Always down to stop to break some breakables. And yet another thing I tried to climb if it weren't for the rain. Oh, the rain's stopping. Maybe it is telling me to actually climb it. Don't worry, squirrel. I don't think I'd get anything but acorns for killing you. Oh, hey, just a dude. Hey, you a traveler? Grab a spot by the fire if you'd like. What fire, my dude? The rain took it all away. I'm a traveling merchant. Name's Giro. Nice to meet you. Crazy times we live in, eh? I got into the forest all on my own to get my wares. But there are far safer ways to get them, such as buying from travelers like you. So, do you have anything rare you'd be interested in selling? It'd be interesting if he actually, like, paid more for rare items, but he probably doesn't. Let's see. Nope. You'd think that he'd buy more. But no. I'll sell you this dubious food instead. Oh. Yeah, thanks for spending some of your precious time on the road with me. Even the areas near civilization are full of monsters these days. Just strolling through the woods can be dangerous. I literally saw that at Hatino Village. Right out the front of their gate, their forest flooded with goblins. You be careful, you hear. I shall grab this. And then we shall try to uh, ascend the tower. Although I guess one way to do it would be to climb to there, jump... And glide to the tower. That's probably better than my idea of raising up a cryonis block. And then climbing from there. But we definitely need to hit up as many stables as possible. Because I want to find the Rito Dilf Man. The Rito with the accordion. Utterly magical. And now we just climb our way. Who needs stamina when you just have ingenuity and bombs? I really do like the look of this game. I kind of miss, like, really stylized games from big companies. Oh, hey, yay! Precisely why we need to do stuff like this, just travel about. Hmm... What the fuck? Oh, it's one of the dragons, I think. I think. We'll definitely never get to it in time. I'm just trying to map out my way. I think, yeah, that's the way we're gonna go eventually. Hmm, let's see. 
So I want to get to the bridge. But where is the bridge? I think the bridge starts over there. So if anything, maybe I could cut my travel time if I went up here, which is probably a Korok. Maybe we can see the dragon, just sightsee it. And then... Oh, wait. Uh... Oh, yeah, because that's the plan. I'll just follow the road. Check things out because... Uh... But first I will check out those trees as well as maybe sightsee the dragon. Because I think that'll be the first dragon that I have seen. If it's still there. There it is! You ruined the picture, you little pixie! There's one of them. I wonder. Can I take picture? Uh. Oh, dang it. Ferosh. I wonder if I'll be able to find him in the future. That would still be a hilarious ability. <laughs> Recoverable materials unknown. You can target him with the sensor. That is hilarious. Because it's technically labeled as a monster. Neat. Probably wouldn't help much. Because you'd either see him or not see him, I guess. What happens if I blow up the little birds? Chickaloo tree nut. Huh, I guess this wasn't... Yep, you're still marked. I thought this was going to be like a... Or is it? Because three apple trees... Okay, so leave that one. Leave that one. Gotcha. Leave uh, the one connected. I wonder, can I just shoot you? There we go. I was, like, this close to just pulling out my bombs and blowing up all the apple trees to get all the apples and the wood. But then I'm like, wait a minute. Three apple trees right next to each other. Why would that be? But yeah, no idea if I'll be able to really survive, survive against, like, the monster's cross, I believe. Well, it seems to be Elden Bridge. Is what comes to mind when I see it. Now yeah, we'll just adventure around a bit. You know, in the shadow of that, uh... That flag made it look like it was far a far bigger thing. My aim was terrible there. Hmm, is there anything underneath you? There is. Alright. I wonder. Can I just get you moving with bombs? I kind of can. No need to hopefully waste my bombs. Not if I have to waste my bombs. <laughs> because if I don't, it won't move and I won't get the chest. You better be another hundred rupees. Well, let's see. What's something I don't mind getting broken? Hmm. I need to refine, like, memorize places where I can get hammers. That should move you. There we go. An opal's decent. Please last forever, sludge hammer. Hmm. That seems to be, like, leading to something. Luckily, I can just kind of walk around and sneak up on animals thanks to the Sheikah set. I think I already cleared that out once. 
Yeah, the chest seems gone. Well, might as well get this Korok seed. Because it'll be like, ah, chase me. Probably all over the place. Are you trying to kill me? That, that felt like it was personal. Like it was aiming at me. Korok, why are you evil? Why are you trying to kill me? What did I ever do to you? Like imagine you're just chasing a flower. Keeps teleporting away. Rocks stop start coming for your head. I didn't know that the Koroks could be so vengeful. And my running away from it was so bad it almost got me. Hark, I have graduated from the Prometheus school of running away from things. But at least we can blow up a goat. And a bird. I thought they were more distantly apart. Yeah, because we crossed this bridge once. But we need to head over that away. I think we already got that. Well, yeah, we definitely got that Korok circle done. Off there is a uh, Vomito, I believe. I wonder, can I take a picture of it? Probably not. It's possible that we're just too far away. Put it back to bomb. Yeah, the plan is to get to the big bridge and cross it so that we can get to the tower that's in that kind of section. Hello, Brigo. Mm -hmm. Hello, are you looking for someone to chat with too? <laughs> what are you doing? Just patrolling! This bridge is an important route! I keep really busy making sure monsters don't nest here by chasing them off the bridge and stuff. Well, congratulations on surviving. Ah. Ask me whatever you want. I'm happy to chat for a while. Need directions. Where do you want to go? Well, I guess Kakariko Village. Well, actually, how do I get to Hyrule Castle from here? Oh, Hyrule Castle?! I don't know how many lives you've got, but in a place that with that many guardians, I guarantee you it's not enough. See that? You can see in the distance. Honestly, I think you're better off just looking at it from here. Ah. Ask me whatever you want. Thank you, man. See ya. Let's wish each other good luck, eh? We'll need it. I like this guy. Even if he is a bit... Uh, if, if he is the same guy we saw before that was a bit paranoid and like... All the things started glowing. I swear the the diddly d guardians will wake up. But he seems nice. Oh hey! I like the movement of the bird. Bomb. Not enough to spare it. I need resources. East Post Ruins. Well, that's kind of dark. Been overrun by, uh, what are they called? Not Bacoblins. Bacoblins are the normal little guys. Moblins, I believe. I believe that they are called Moblins. And also, no, we do not hunt the foxes, for the foxes are nice. I think we should be able to bully these guys with bombs if we catch them off guard. Or, like, don't fight them both at the same time. Oi, Moblin! Bomb! <laughs> he did a little dance. Yeah, because we might not be able to send them flying with bombs. But we can stagger them with bombs. What the hell is that? No, genuinely, I don't know what that is. At least I don't think so. I have an extra... 
It's beyond my range, too. Or, like, of the range of the things I've done. Huh. Well, I guess I'll keep that pen there, because I'm intrigued. For a moment, I thought that flag was a really fuck-off big moblin. Hey, you got a stick? How about bombs? Bomb! Who needs to use weapons? Well, I guess technically a bomb is a weapon. And then if I wanted to, if they got too close, I could probably stasis them. And keep on running. this way, grab one of you. I wonder what that is. Yep. Oh, that actually hit. I thought it might be stuck by the wall. <laughs> and good, the fox was not caught as collateral. From Twitch chat, who needs to use durability when we got bombs? Precisely, I threw that in the wrong way. Howdy, how are we doing today? I'm doing good. Brain still felt a bit bleh, so I decided more chillaxin' with Breath of the Wild. Don't worry, we will get back to Persona 3 at some point. But I want to return when I can actually, like, properly enjoy the game. I, like, I don't want to force myself to play it too much. Pretty much everything that I do needs a slight bit of forcing, but I don't want to force myself to play a game, especially if people, like, want to watch. So they, like, watch and be like, ah, oh, I can't wait to watch per a person play a game that I really like, and then I half-ass it because I'm in a bad mental state. But we shall get back to it eventually. It's just that uh, Breath of the Wild is just such a, such a nice thing. I can sneak up on things so well, I can just walk up to them and surprise myself. Also, no idea what that is. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> At all. But enough about me, how about you? How are you doing this day? But uh, right now the plan is to follow the route to get to the, like, tower of the immediate region over there. And then, like, do some, like, uh, shrines and stuff on our way to, uh, like, uh, blah, blah, blah. What's the word? Uh, Zora's Domain over there. And this way, I presume. Also, I don't know why, but I don't think I've ever really acknowledged that before. What are you? I'll have to remember to, like... Take note of that. Like, basically, this is one of those games where it's really fun to, like, look at a... What's the word? A... Landmark and go, I'm gonna go that way! Because it's just really fun to do that. This is the game of exploration. And it's very fun to do that. Like, you have a base idea of, I'm going to go over that way to get that thing. And then while you do that, you still, like, look at different things along the way. It's just, like, really, really fun. Oh, I already got you. Just wanted to double check. You can never tell. With the, e the, with the evils. Rusty Claymore. Hmm, do I have any other rusted thing? I think I'll keep the fire rod just in case, but I'll trade you out. Why not? Let's see. We'll fly back down. And glance around.
see if there's anything that stands out as we fly back down. But I guess we'll para drop onto that monster platform and hunt some. Breath of the Wild does exploring fun. It gets dull when doing Kor Korok hunting. That definitely because, like, Korok hunting wasn't really meant to be a thing, I don't think. It's just that they put a lot in to reward exploring. So that, if, like, no matter who you are, no matter where you go in the game, you'll find a decent amount of Korok seeds to, le like, level up your stuff. And then they realized people would want to... Some people, madmen, would go and 100% the Korok hunting. And so they put something in. Even if it is a little bit of a joke. Because that's kind of the thing. The Korok hunting wasn't meant to be a thing. There's, well, it was meant to be a thing, but just not taken to that extreme. It's bad for the health. They're part of the maps I've yet to, uh, to discover. That's a mood. Like, I doubt I'm gonna discover everything. But who knows? Go flying! Gravity shall kill you all! Go flying, Billy. Gravity is my friend. Gravity is not your friend. Be gone. From YouTube chat, hello, hello. We are currently making some Bacoblins lives hell. Get out of here. Oh. Hello. I guess the monsters just attract Keese. I'm like, ah, I'll just leave and then the attack keys come. The Goblin the Flying type. With the power of the patented Link Explosion device, the Goblins can fly! Please note that Link Airlines does not guarantee survival. I wonder where, like, the level 2 Bacoblin left. Ah, here he. The level 2 Bacoblin landed here. Guess I'll trade out the... That, and we shall finally get rid of our final... Diddly-dee. We'll go partway across the... The bridge. Huh. Maybe head down there? Because I could swear that there's, like, a big dip in that island. Ah, great. What? Okay, the breathing noise you made was disturbing. How dare. Die. I did not enjoy that... That that bacoblin skeleton just did at me. Hmm. I wonder. There, there's probably a thing up there. I wonder if there's like a broken piece I can really rest on. Because, like, if you're making Breath of the Wild, you're probably thinking, where can we put things? Up here is probably some things. We need to avoid the windows, I think. I think the windows can eat my climbing movement. For some reason, that initial note of that piano almost sounded like a bacoblin horn. My ears are screwed. Ah, Peter Peterson giving me a raid on Twitch. Hello, hello. How is your stream? Right now, I'm just adventuring across 
The land of Hyrule, looking for things, activating towers, trying to find shrines, before probably heading over to... Ba -ba -ba. Heading over to, what's the name? The Zora's Domain. Let's see. Well, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Of course it was a Korok. It's always a Korok. And I still forget what that is. Ominous glowing. Oh, of course there's another one. <laughs> one bad thing about Breath of the Wild is you kind of go, Oh, I'll just do a little bit. And then just Koroks. You start to see Koroks everywhere. That's not going to land at all. Hmm. Let's see. Well, that is way too far away. We can't cheese this. Oh, well. Maybe? Nope. Close, but no. This is like the worst one for me. Go? I think that might make it. Ha <laughs> ha! No net! We'll explore the bridge and then probably head down there. Because again, I could swear that there's like a big dent in that island. Why is music playing? What? Oh! Wait a minute, Farosh? Aren't you the same one that I just saw? But this one's better. Well, now I know where you come out. You come out at midnight, or, yeah, midnight, right here. I wonder what happens if I shoot you. Well, if I could even shoot you, you're very far away. What a majestic creature. But yeah, at least now I know where you come out. Maybe I should make a note of that. Farosh comes out of, like, the Elden Lake... At midnight. <laughs> and the only reason I noticed is because I heard music. I'm like, wait, what is this music? What is this magic? And then suddenly dragon. <laughs> Bomb! Go flying. Oh, they survived. Good for them. Oh, are you attacking me? Well, I shall shoot back. What? This is just the day of magicalness. But I guess that's just to be like, if you get too close to it, it'll attack you. I wonder what happens if I shoot you. Like, I swear, you've... The perspective is so big. Okay, we definitely know where to get you. And potentially be killed by you. Midnight at Elden Lake. Is the place to be. For this specific dragon. Ferrosh. Oh, what? I thought it was going to be a sparkly. It is. What do you mean, salvage headwear? What? <laughs> Xenoblade? Was... I thought that was going to be one of the falling stars haha -ha things. No, it was... A promotional item. Just everything happening at Elden Lake, or whatever this lake is. What is the... We don't even know. We don't have the map yet. Now I'm gonna have to climb that. 
Well, since it's right here, we'll try to get to the top of this, get there, and then check out the the uh, the, the island lake. Oh, you're a fool. Well, only slightly. Because I'm not going to be played for a fool and be ambushed. I'm going to ambush the ambushers. Well, they're all going to be asleep and I can just... sneak up on them. Let's see. I guess I'll use the Guardian Spear for stabbing time. Again, 3 a.m. does not feel like 3 a.m. This feels like very bright for 3 a.m. Oh, Jesus. Darn. Oh! You're an angry boy. And none of your friends know what happened. I heard of a cobbler noise. You are a very dumb... Well, that's a terrible spear. I really shouldn't be afraid of these guys. Not as scary as I, like, thought you were for some reason. Well, I'll, that was all bow. That's good. How dare you actually hit me? And how dare you have options beyond... You're a very angry one. Yeah, go... Go roll away. Oh, I keep forgetting that you're very speedy. Oh, I'll just take your weapon for my own! <laughs> hey there, Neon. Hello, hello. Why this, the, the, the lake lizard have flames? That is illegal! And apparently it got its health back. Doubly illegal. No. I refuse. I shall kill you for your existence. You have terrible aim. Be gone. That's what you get for flaming me. Let's see. Oh, we did drop that and pick up Lizalbo. Drop you, pick up Lizalbo. I'm here to kill you. How dare you just sit here in the water. I should come to think of it. Should probably also be looking at these shields. Well, that's a reinforced one, so definitely straight out one of these. The real question is, why are all the freaks out trying to defend this tower from me, presumably? Still easier than the utter 
fear of having to do the guardian defended tower. Just have to get my stamina back. And then do some climbing. Darn. Well, that seems to be another stable. Let's probably check that out. So, check out the lake. Probably teleport back. Check out that stable. But we can just get a better look once we get to the top of this here tower. With the power of ninja. Surely we will never die. Surely. This is the power of ninja. And then maybe we should go to Hatino Village at some point and maybe die the Sheikah outfit. Upgrade my diddly D. My Sheikah Slate desires knowledge. And now we have a staging area for this part of the map. Still no idea how their data is a semi-liquid thing. Why is it the Sheikah Slate and not the Sheikah Cup? The regional map has been extracted. Alright, so the initial plan will probably be go to that island because... Well, let me actually get to a point where we can actually look at it properly. But there seems to be a big hole. There's probably a shrine in there. Like, I swear. Then, we'll probably come back here and try to sail over there to that, uh, stable. Do that shrine there. And we'll probably still leave this place for later. Although... Seems to be, that's probably just a monster place. I think, yeah, that's still, I think, the dual, yeah, the, the dueling peaks. We are definitely not going into the jungle for that one just yet. Maybe later. And then maybe we can use that shrine as a staging point to then trudge through the jungle like Indiana Jones. But... Let us go down into the lake. And hopefully not die. Because the lake is actually pretty far away. Even by flight. Da 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 da. Da da da. I don't need any kind of sailboat. Well, that pretty much confirms it now, doesn't it? Good thing I wasn't trying to do this part at midnight. Else Farosh would be just gunning for me with, like, its static electricity or whatever it was that was attacking me. Huh, so there's a raft to get here. Yanaga. Please don't be a battle shrine. I don't want to lose more of my resources. Aim controls by tilting the switch, you fool. This is a pro controller. Oh. 
Although now that kind of makes me think two player Breath of the Wild, one person does the gyro, one person does the pro controls. I'm Yanaga. In the name of the goddess, I offer this trial. Shatter the heavens. Well. Explosions, I guess. Just in case, because I, I looked up. I looked up. I have eyes. Imagine if I didn't look up and I'm just like, ah, this is just an elevator. So, get crunched. And that is how Link died. A fucking idiot. Alright, but first things first, I'm gonna... Because for some reason, you can't climb... Chica stuff, so... Doesn't seem like there's anything else. It's just that one, so... We shall aim for that. I really like the, the shrine music. The shrine music just seems nice. I mean, I believe it's over here. Wrong one. Well, that's what I get. My knowledge is bad. Again, I know the joke is that this game doesn't have music. But what music is there is really nice. Give me... Eightfold Blade, a single-edged traditional Sheikah... Uh, yeah, traditional to the Sheikah Slurash. I cannot speak. I am an idiot fool. Well, give me my spirit orb. Decrepit dead body. You know, I always have, like, a, a paranoia. The, like, what if my microphone isn't on? Just always that little bit of, like, technical difficulties have come to destroy you. I don't think it's happened in a long time, but still, the fear lingers and remains. Alright, now we're going to... Well, I guess maybe... Well, we'll teleport to you and then maybe take the road to the stable. Because I'm not going to try and raft my way across Blizzolfo's waters. I am no fool. I am not a meringue. All right. I can jump down and then follow the, the path, maybe see what's there, or head towards the bend to the right. Let's do that. Just go ahead and do that, try and see, because you never know what'll appear on the roads. How dare you know. Silly Bacoblins. Welcome to Bacoblin Bowling. Heh <laughs> heh. the power of blowing people up, we win the day. Oh, you came back, eh? 
You came back. Would you like more bomb? One of these days you'll finally die of gravity. Don't worry, it's just bomb. Do you even know where it came from? Under cover of cloud. Darn. Be gone. Of course the body just slip and slides away. What, are you sad that you can't get back home? That gravity has abandoned you? Goodbye. And apparently this is more powerful than a traveler's bow too. Thank you, sneakiness. The power of sneak, the power of sneak, the power of sneak. Goodbye. It's like they lose all physics when they die. And you see, kids, we need Ganondorf. Or just Ganon. Because without Ganon, gravity goes away. Apparently. Why'd you just pop up for no reason? Yep. Bomb. Other bomb. You dare to show your face? Die. Now we're going to go into this jungle forest, hang a right to the stable. Yep. Darn, I was hoping for a two. The wind messed me up. Would you like a bomb? There's my two. Let's see if we can... Oh, there's a shrine in here. Something. Oh, it was just a choo-choo. So there's a shrine in here somewhere. Jesus Christ, I am assaulted by all, on all sides! Ah, oh, Farron Woods. Well, does that mean that Orden Village is dead? I need to play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess again sometime. Uh, it's unusual to see someone out here traveling. Where you headed? I honestly... I'm not sure. You really say what's on your mind, don't you? I'm headed toward Farron Grasslands. Mm -hmm. Want to hear my story? Sure, I'll tell you. I don't even get an option. It was a while back I'd lost my best friend, a horse. I'd been traveling for years and years, and then I heard this tale of a fountain in the Farron Grasslands, a magical fountain that can revive lost horses. Neat. I hope you find it, and I hope that I never need it. Now, there should be a shrine this way. Die, and give me meat. Hello, Bambi. All right, what kind of shrine will you be? 
Might as well do shrines as I find them until they annihilate me. And then we run away. Oh, is this going to be a combat one? Closed in entrance a little bit. Oh boy! To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Pumag Nitai, in the name of Goddess of Hylia. I give you this. A minor test of strength, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I will put on outright combat gear. I guess you. I will take you on! Because I doubt I could cheese you with bombs. Oh, you an angry man. I shall attack you from behind. Oh, you're going to do a thing. He's going to do a thing. Okay, never mind. I didn't need to be that uh, that afraid. Ah. Huh. I'm very bad at the flurry. Are you gonna charge at me? I have to take you down. Explosions! Alright, let's see. I guess I'll trade that out. Trade. Oh, that's actually. Oh, compared to what I have, that's fair. And I still don't have any ancient shafts. Luckily, it was just a minor test of strength, else I'd probably be annihilated. <laughs> you, you're mocking me, aren't you? A boomerang? How dare you. That's not even as good as the weapon that the Guardian had. It's just like, why? Why would you do that? It's a boomerang. It's a funny little haha -ha weapon, but why would that be the reward for a test of strength? Remember to stay hydrated. Nah. Is that somebody screaming I heard? Let's see. Get out of here. I shall defeat you with the Eightfold Blade. Ah, darn. Let's see. Where did they go? I, huh? Why are you just hanging out here? Ah. I wanted to find a still-living silent princess, which we know only through the tales. 
I intended to set up out on my own, but Sorelia would have none of it insisted on coming along. Oh, and she didn't even help with the fighting. I felt confident enough in my skill with a blade to protect myself, but I need to reconsider that to keep my beloved safe. <laughs> I'm just happy to be together with you. Ah. Sorelia, I won't allow any misfortune to befall you, I swear it! A still living silent princess. How dare you? I swear, keys just come from nowhere. You just find travelers in the weirdest places. Huh. Apparently that's my karma. Well, I thought that was just a thing. No, it was a frog. Now we need to head back this way so we can follow the... Bubble ball, ball. Oh, tireless frog. I'd have to actually keep some of them to turn into stamina elixirs for myself. Definitely need some of them. And now this should lead to that stable. Maybe meet Beetle there, see if there's anybody else there. Maybe a quest, do that shrine. Then we will head along. Hello, Traveler. Are you an actual Traveler, or are you a fiend? Uh. Mishi. For some reason, I always seem to attract monsters. And it looks like there are a lot of monsters near the stable, too. My only hope is to try and dash past them. <laughs> really? So maybe one quest will be clearing the monsters around the stable? Not like it'll help them much. Because the monsters just respawn. Go flying. It's the Bacoblin Space Program. Bacoblin Space Program. Maybe I don't even need to power up my... my bombs. A spiked Boko Spear. <laughs> yeah, there you are. Yep. But at least it makes more sense why you were kind of afraid. Yep. These guys are on horseback. Your friends are hunting goat while I am annihilating you with bombs. Well, that was just a horrible throw. Maybe you just have terrible eyesight. Maybe you're gonna die. So long as he's off a horse, I count that as a win. Kaboom! Ah, that was a twofer, I think. Why are there so many people out on the roads when monsters are about? Were you injured? Here. This is a thank you for saving me. To be fair, I think I was the one that got you, like, kind of slightly engaged in that battle. Now, come on. The battle's not over. You're not dead yet. But goblins sure know how to choose horses, though. Because those horses took those bombs. Sometimes multiple. Yes, yes, beep, beep. We know, we know. Hey, Beetle's here. Yeah. Oh, thanks for coming to see me. Wow. 
Oh, you appear to have a bladed rhino beetle. Beetle loves bladed rhino beetles. Would you consider giving it to me? You'd get something in return, of course. How about I trade you uh, for this meat and rice bowl? Sure, works for me. Definitely works for me. Heals and lets me deal more damage. Whoa! Thank you so much. You're even more awesome than I thought you were. I will cherish this, cherish this beetle you have given me for the rest of my days. Anyway, back to business. Let's see what you got. I already have a lot of them. God, that's expensive. I guess I'll buy this arrow bundle. Let's see what I can maybe sell you. Da, da, da. Da. Da, da, da. Probably need to make more things to sell. Let's see. What about amber? I'll sell you like five amber. I keep finding them in droves. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's... Ah, but there is a diary. Super ru oh, super Rumor Mill. Hmm. I've loved rumors since before I was born. In fact, I was the first to report on my rumored birthday. Tracy here. This time I've got a juicy bit of gossip I've been dying to share. Ancient horse gear is real and it's fabulous. Not the ancient horse armor DLC. Apparently, there's some incredible horse gear from Hyrule's distant past. I'm talking the long, long ago, folks. A bridle that increases your horse's skill and a saddle that can instantly summon your horse to your side. The bridle is south of Hyrule Ridge, beneath a cherry blossom tree at the mountain where creatures gather. The saddle is at a mysterious spring where a horse spirit resides. At least that's what the rumors say. Sounds like the ancients liked to horse around. I need that gear. Tracy's recommendation, five out five stars. I think all of them are... Five stars. One of these days I should summon a Pona, because I think that's what happens when you use the Link Amiibo. And I have a Link Amiibo. But I like just wandering around on my own. I think we'll do this shrine. And then probably make our way back. Let's see what's in this shrine. I'll keep my gear on in case it's another battle one. Elsewise, I need to remember to put back on my Sheikah clothes. And this means that I get another heart. Okay, kind of open, so I don't think battle. Uh, magnet gates. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Kao Makag. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer you this challenge. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get ambushed? Because I will be! Satan! Be gone! Die! At least you're very weak. Well, I guess I should be using a Guardian Spear. Well, I don't have any Guardian Spears. So I should use the Guardian Swords. Well, actually, uh, you're kind of weak. Any s other spears I have? No. Well, at least... Anybody else wanna... You're a skittish little fuck. That died in one hit. See, we'll just rip off the hinges. Okay, do not slam the entire thing. We'll take this, and then bomb the hinges. Damn it. All of my bows are better than that. And 
now we can use this as a bridge. Bridge time. It's the bridge time. The mighty morphing bridge time. Bridge time. Dark. I am a fool. Just very bouncy. There we go. And then I can just grab this and knock this tower around. Get out of here. No towers allowed in Shrineville. Yep. Yeah, something I actually can use. Orient my bridge. Darn. This is a very bouncy giant iron door. I have defeated your Magnesis challenge, fool. Now give me your soul. Give it to me. And now we have access to this here stable whenever we want. And the next time I find a village, I can get another heart piece. I need to maybe head to the what woods that like uh, the hidden woods to try and learn how many heart pieces I need to ba 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 be able to get the what's the word the master sword okay so i think what we'll do is we'll come back here cross the bridge check out these places for one of the memories head to the shrine and stable and make our way and then maybe someday we'll go get the i the memory that resides there i think but let's teleport away I need to put on my Sheikah gear, if I remember. And plus, this gets rid of the damn rain that decided to haunt me. But now we're gonna... Put that on. Ah, oh, apparently that's a swim speed up. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna head back down to the bridge. Make our way to the various places, look for the memory. Go to shrines, check out the stable. And then maybe once we've opened up more of the map, one of these days I can do like a EX rumor mill like hunt. Get like the armor, the bridle. And of course it's raining again. If I wanted to I could wait for Well apparently the rain got offended of my offense to its existence and it ran away. Good. If I really wanted to I could wait for to come back. I forgot to open that chest. I'm an idiot. These guys offend me, so I'm going to kill them. Maybe not that one. He's standing on a thing. But at least the one that's walking. I'm so sneaky, I can walk around. Your friend is dead. 
come find me. Apparently he doesn't want to come down. So what I gotta do is bomb you sideways. Now you're in killing range, you fool. Bomb. Open magic chest, Zora spear. I think it is still worse than most of the things that I have. Well, at least that can stay there for a while. Then onwards we go. Try and find that one memory that I believe should be around one of the lakes near the stable. Because it's like at a lake on a little like patch of land looking at the lake that's also in line with the dueling peaks. Hey birds, would you like a bomb? Only one wanted a bomb. Let's check the map. Yeah, we could just like head this way. Maybe follow. To just hit these two. Because I think it should be like this one. Lake Colomo. Should be it from my rough glance. And then I just remembered we never did go back to get that one memory that was down from the mountain and the snow plains that the one guy told us about. Like, ah, oh, that's the location. Show me your photo album and I'll tell you where the photos are from. The original GeoGuessr. Well, you're not ominous at all, aren't you? What if, what if I bombed you? <laughs> Isn't Master Koga just so dreamy? I could stare at that poochie tummy of his all day long. He's got a dumb belly. A dumb belly? You filth. You have no appreciation for true beauty. I'll take your life. Eh, like you would have left me live anyway. Get smacked, idiot. No. No. I bomb you to death. Bomb you eternally. I wish there was like a quick way to drop things. Like, I guess I'll drop you. I can maybe try and use that as a like emergency lighting source. Wouldn't be surprised if I could just like hold out the blade and things catch fire. That would be neat. I just love walking around in the Sheikah set. It just keep gathering resources that move. Well, that's an ominous cave. Darn. What's in here? One, two. One. Two. Four and five. Yeah. You're a bunch of weirdos, aren't you?
I don't think I've ever done that before. That Korok puzzle. I just do not remember it at all. I wonder if this makes wheat more often. That would be a neat mechanic. Hey there, birds. Bomb. Let's see. Need to head that way to Lake Colomo. You dare hang out here? You dare hang out in the ruins of civilization? Fiend. Hey, rubies. Now, sure, I'm looting the ruins of civilization. But I'm the good guy. I swear, the Koroks are the ones trying to kill me the most often. Might as well grab these. Yeah, there's a lot of rush rooms. I forget. Isn't there, like, a random quest that's like, hey, bring me, like, 50 rush rooms? <laughs> Something like that, because there's madness in the world. Fine, get bombed. Let's see. Yep, Link Colomo's up this way. Bomb. I'll do it again. Bomb. You know, it's kind of disturbing. The high-tail li lizards are, like, the only animal that, like, die and, like, stay dead compared to everything else. Hmm. A part of me kind of wants to try and hunt a guardian to get more of the resources to power up my bombs to hopefully one-shot... Normal bacoblins more. Well, that sounds like a dangerous notion. Yep. I shave your head and then make you dead. Like, did you not expect me to beat you up? One by one. Finally got that hit. Oh yeah. What the hell? Ah, oh, just horses standing menacingly. So this might not be the one I was looking for. Because it's basically a foresty lakeside. <laughs> with like a little path that can see the... The dual peaks. It's 
So it might actually... Uh, but that seems like it's too close, because, like, the one felt like it was pretty far away. You can always check the the album. Yeah, it was like, uh... Where are you? This one. Oh, no, this could be it. Maybe. Like, down this away, because there's this. Or maybe, because... Yeah, this is probably it. This is probably it. Maybe. Ah, there it is. Probably. I just need to get to shore. Die. I'm probably gonna have to eat one of my stamina skewers. Well, maybe we can make it. Yeah, come on, Link, huzzah! God, there's so many dragonflies, and so many of them are just not real. Which is just mildly amusing. Yeah, this should be it. This should be the memory place. Hello, fox. I won't haunt you. Here it is. I guess, do I need to... The question is, how do I activate it? Because I know it's a thing. Or do I need to go... That's probably what I need to do, actually. Because I think... That... Like, uh... That, uh... Ba ba ba. Her name. I think she, uh, Pura. I think Pura said I should check out blah, blah, blah. So I guess I, we can easily go that. Teleport here and then teleport back since now we know. So off we go. From YouTube chat. Hello, are you a family-friendly streamer? Hmm. On the safe side, I would say probably, like... Like, I would say PG-13, but with more cussing. Because I don't think I go extreme bad in some directions of, like, crassness or stuff. But, like, I still curse, still make some jokes. Yeah, we need to probably talk to Impa now that we have the camera things back. And show her, like, hey, here are some uh, photos. And she'll be like, ah, I know those photos. And then she'll be like, maybe you can go and get your memories back if you go to these places. And then we can activate that side quest, probably. <laughs> well, in we go. Hello, Impa. Mm. Ah, I heard Pura was giving you the run around, but you seem just fine. The real question is, how the hell would you know that? Do you have, like, blah, 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 what's the word? Instant communications? Do you have technology hidden around here? Now then, let me see. Here's some pictures. Oh, ah, this is without a doubt the camera that Princess Zelda used 100 years ago. Ah. 
could be that if you visit the locations within those pictures, you will be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you have tried going to at least one of these locations. Mm. There is something I wish to give to you. I believe the tunic of the wild? Hmm. Because let's see. Like, I guess we could try and, like, head this way, but through the Great Fairy Fountain to get to this memory. Then teleport back, get this memory. <laughs> Run through, probably die to a guardian a few times, get that memory and come back. Maybe. And who knows, maybe we'll also find and blast one of those, uh, rupee ghosts. Get lots of money. So up we go. There you are. Booyah. That's a decent amount of money. Didn't realize that it was a multi-hit thing. I thought it was hit once and you're good. Ah, darn it. Didn't expect there to be two. But another reason why the Sheikah set is great. Allows me to beat up these little ghost guys. A little bit easier. Because we're going to make it through this area. Try to get to that one memory that the guy... <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of pointed us in the direction to... Hey there, goat. Food. Would have been hilarious if I just missed. God, I just love the Sheikah set. It's so good. Alright. I think I know. Just gotta fill in the hole. There we go. I just realized I could have, uh, blah, 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 gone and, uh, traded in the four spirit orbs I have at the Kakariko Village Goddess Shrine. So I guess we can go through, get that memory at the bridge, teleport back to the, well, then again, the lady said, come back, Impa said, come back after getting the memories, so we can try and get the memories and then do that. Let me guess, you're gonna... gonna be a... a jerk, a monster man. Mm. About a year ago, I was walking along the road here at night when I suddenly saw a blinding light in the sky. When my eyes finally adjusted, I found myself looking at a shimmering object floating overhead. I couldn't look away. The next thing I knew, I was bathed in light when I came to. I woke up in bed, covered in sweat. Oh? What do you think about that? Sounds like a dream. At first I thought it was just a bad dream, but the bed I woke up in wasn't my bed. It was a bed full of liquid in an empty room. Uh, you're mocking me, aren't you? Considering that your name is Traveler. And when I looked in the corner, there was a weird glowing device. And when I touched the device, I was overwhelmed with a feeling of familiarity. When I came to, I was here. Mm? What do you think about that? That's, um, does that story sound familiar? Highly enchanting. Also, your face is horrifying. <coughs> your story ends here, hero boy. <laughs> oh, I thought I was still on my bombs. <laughs> huh, got you with a bomb. Huh, you knocked the bomb away. Jerk. You really like that, don't you? Fine, I'll bomb you to death.
Didn't even have the courtesy to leave behind his weapon. But luckily, I have food. Eat fruit! We'll do some climbing, smash all these up. I'm gonna leave you, Kakar- uh, uh, Korok, that's it. My brain got split between Kakariko, Kakarot. Just had like, a, a, what's the word? Just like a brain moment. Oh, a sapphire! Hell yeah. Slightly rare. Be gone, Korok. I have a memory to get. You know, it'd probably be easier if I climbed the cliffs and... Of course, the skeletons always come out to play. I'm gonna throw you into the river. For my own amusement. Keep screaming. It'll not save you. River with you! I like that it, like, we even punt the skeleton head. Ah, oh, so it seems if you get the head far enough away from the body, the body just goes poof. I guess that's the game's way of, like, cleaning up the enemy cache. So that it doesn't have to worry about, a. Uh, Enemy like that like respawns a lot. Although maybe I should go down there and actually do the bridge normally, because I think there's Korok seeds and just like things to do. Yeah, we'll do the bridge normally. And besides, there are enemies to hunt in the night. <laughs> oh, fear not. It's just a bad dream, little goblins. <laughs> just a dream. I really like the area, though. It has a nice feel to it. Sneaky, 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 sneak. Ah, treasure chest. What to be in you? Hmm, shock arrows. Noise. There's probably a shrine behind that waterfall, considering that there's a raft here. So I'll probably put a... Hmm. I'll put a treasure thing there to remind me, hey, thing to do. <laughs> kind of wish that there was like a... Shrine thing. <laughs> I think it's even telling me. Or well, that could just be the sun. But it's just kind of funny that it has kind of like a shrine-esque glow right when I was passing in front of the waterfall. Don't mind me, I'm just a sneaky boy. Oh, it's a big man. It's the Big Mac. Gonna have trouble bombing you to death. Let, oi, let me through, jerk. Oh, how'd you get involved in that? Jerk. You're the scary one because you have a... a ranged thing. To a degree. I want to send him flying. Darn, I sent myself flying. Maybe I can... Darn. 
second, I bomb this man. Come on, camera, stop it. There we go. Woo! Hey, look at this. I'll just feed you with your own spear. Ha ha ha! Man, you're a you're a beefy boy. <laughs> Going Metal Gear Solid style, I see. Pretty much. Goodbye. Well, that's not right at all. Bomb. Well, that's just very rude. I want to kill this man who is in the hole. There we go. We did it, Patrick. We saved the trapped Bacoblin. But yeah, when there's a bunch of them, best to go Metal Gear Solid style. So yeah, I think that there's like a shrine in that waterfall area, but I'm not going to do that just now. We're here for a memory. Yep, black and silver get huge HP increases. No longer are bombing them to death. A viable, ah, uh, fuck. Please be alone up here. So I can sneak up on... Oh, no, you're not even asleep. Okay, uh... I don't think I want to fight you. Maybe I can sneak around you, sneak up from behind, and stab you. Oh, they even kind of made the perfect path to do just that. Now, let's see. What's my most powerful weapon? Let's get that crit. Perfect. And you use little piddly stuff. You're an insult. Okay, now let's look at the album. Because the photo that we're looking at is this one, so we need to get to... Actually looking through. And then... You're ugly. Die. Gonna kick you into the river. Be gone! Yep, and now that we did that, we can activate the memory. Let the memories be activated. Through the power of piano. Although imagine if, like, one of the landmarks was super destroyed so there was nothing to jog the memory. I wonder where this is in the timeline. Well, don't keep us in suspense. How'd everything go up there on the mountain? Oh, so we were coming back from the mountain. She didn't unlock her mystery powers. So you didn't feel anything? No power at all? I'm sorry now. Then let's move on. You've done all you could. 
Feeling sorry for yourself won't be of any I think it's less feeling sorry After for herself and more not like your last shot was up there on Mount Lenaeus. Guilt because her Anything father keeps pushing for it. The power to seal Ganon away. We just have to keep looking for that thing. I like the champions. The champions are just That's really great. nice. Thank you. Thank you. Like designs. If I may. I thought you well, I'm not sure how to put this into words. I'm actually quite embarrassed to say it. But I was thinking about what I do when I'm healing. You know, what usually goes through my mind. It helps when I think when I think about <laughs> Uh, she didn't even get the opportunity to say it. When you think about Link, those that you love. And Calamity Ganon has risen. It's here. This is it, then. Are you sure? Positive. It's away. And she, Let's she's probably freaking out because she's We're like, I don't have the power. To take that thing down. Now, champions, to your divine beasts, show that swirling swine who's boss. Link will need to meet Ganon head on when we attack. This needs to be a unified assault. Little guy, you <laughs> have <to laughs> little guy. Passive. You can count on us for support. But he might be soon. What is it? Sundari? Yeah. He might be Sundari, but Rivali is great. We need to get you someplace safe. No. I'm not a child anymore. I may not be much use on the battlefield. But there must. There must be something I can do to help. That's kind of a depressing first memory the game pushes you towards. Well, that proves it. You were here a hundred years ago. How does it feel, Link? <laughs> and the skeleton is still looking for its head, idiot. You fool. You want a meringue? What a doozy of a first memory for the game to kind of push you towards. Well, wrong button. Bleg. Put that back on. So I don't think there are many others. So I think... Hmm. So yeah, we'll teleport back, get another heart, talk to Empa... Teleport, get memory, probably charge down, get memory, teleport back, stables and shrines. Which means I have to teleport back. Fool what I am. Fool what I am. Swimming tip, you can swim faster and then die. Bah. Well, that's the drawbacks of open world games. You can easily get them out of order. That's true. But I think that's like part of the point. Because that is the first memory that they push the player towards. Because. You go to Hatino Village, you get the, like, pictures back, then you come back, and then there's the painter guy, and he initiates the quest to send you to that specific memory. That is the very first one that they push you towards. So it is very much intentional. What's over that over there? Is it a shop person? Of course, if you want to make your own elixirs, you'll need to use bugs, not to mention some monster parts. Mm -hmm. Who is just the cleverest donkey in all of donkeydom? That's right, you. Oh dear, do you mean to tell me that you had not asked me how to make elixirs? Say, I see you eyeballing the packs of my donkey. Want to see my goods? Ah. Fresh meat and vegetables straight from Kakariko Village. Yeah, no, the place is right here. 
Hmm. Guess I'll grab uh, these two hearty truffles. Because those are very, very good. From YouTube chat. Hello there. Hello, hello. We got a very depressing memory back. Such is life. Hello, painter man. So you found the gate? <laughs> I can tell just from the look on your face. There must have been a time when lots of people used that gate. The world sure is fickle, isn't it? Well, we can go up and talk to Impa and say, we did it. We have attained depression. Ah. Now that you have some of the princess's memories, you must have started to remember certain things. Here, I will hand this over to you now before I forget. The champion's tunic. In ancient Hyrule, this garment could only be worn by one who would earn the respect of the royal family. Equipping it will reveal an enemy's life gauge. Isn't that already a thing that happens? I'll have to try it out, I guess. This is something of yours that I have been keeping safe by request of the princess. This clothing was specially made for you when you became a champion. Please handle it with care. Thank you, Impa. You may not remember your last meeting with Ganon, but it did not end well for you. If you want a different outcome this time, you'll need to be properly equipped. The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast Varudanya, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. The divine beast Varmedo, controlled by Ravali of the Rito. Who is best boy? The divine beast Varuta, controlled by Mipha of the Zoro. The Zoro? The Zora. Yeah, brain is big. And the divine beast Varnaboris, controlled by Orbosa of the Gerudo. Yeah. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beasts to help you. You must infiltrate the divine beasts that were stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Ah, good, good. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. All I can do is tell you what to look for. Goodbye, Impa. Princess Zelda is fighting Calamity Ganon all alone. You are the only one who can save her. The only one who can save Hyrule. Now go. You must. Now go, you must. <laughs> Very depressing memory. Well, that narrows it down slightly. It was specifically the one where Zelda was depressed because she couldn't activate her divine powers. And then Calamity Ganon attacked. And then everything only began from there. And from Twitch chat, that was not the case for me. I was pushed towards the memory near the castle. Huh, that's interesting. Because that guy told me that, it was like, oh yeah, the mountain is there and then it's down from the snow plains. So yeah, that's like extra interesting that it tells you different memories to go towards. This will place the memory block there. You can always see the life bar, but this shirt reveals it numerically. Huh. I'm going to go see if I can upgrade it at the fairy fountain. And then maybe for combat, I'll use that instead of my adventuring shirt. Yo, fairy! Mm. Ah. Enhance away! Silent princesses, mm. I have just enough ah. to make it my best armor. Ah. 
So that gives you a better idea of how many weapons you'll need to defeat. Or if it's too much. Hmm, that's true. You've heard about set bonuses, right? How a set of clothes that have all been in heist twice could be a bonus? But only if you wear the whole set? Well, not all sets have a bonus. And yep, we don't know the things for that. I guess while we're here, we might as well evolve the climber's bandana. Why not? But yeah, when we... I wish... That kind of makes me wish that this game had, like, clothing, uh... What's the word? Clothing... Like, uh... Basically clothing sets that... You, presets that you could jump between. Mom. Upgrading the champion tuna is painful. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that out of the way, let's go get another memory. A favorite, you mean? No, like uh, a preset thing. So it could be like, I want to like select this, like select three armors and equip them all instantly. But like uh, an outfit preset thing for armor sets. Be like, I want to instantly jump to this. I want to instantly jump to that. That way I could be sneaky and then instantly jump to my combat set. Like, uh, imagine if I could, like, let me get control and see. Like, n hmm. Because, well, that is handy. I wouldn't mind swapping out the horse whistle for, like, an armor set. Or maybe hold, like, bow and then down. Uh, so you could have combat mode, sneaky mode, and climber mode. Yeah. Just, like, a very quick way of swapping between different, like, uh, sets of armor that just would be nice. I have to save these dumbasses again. Don't worry. Help is coming. From above. Bomb. I shall beat you to death with a club. I didn't even put on my... my jacket. <laughs> uh, if you think that was a slice danger, you need to have your eyes checked. But I like your style, so here you go. <laughs> I'll get him next time for sure. Thank Hyle here, that means it was safe. I knew it wasn't smart to go treasure hunting in these parts. Now we need to head this way. Ah, uh, fine, we'll... Go get that Korok seed, then go get the memory. Every single time I see those wisps, I think, is that another one of the dragons? But yeah, just having an armor preset thing would be nice, because else you have to go and go one by one, rather than just swap like that. And considering that this is like a Zelda that encourages swapping things around so much, this would be nice. Darn. I was over eager. I'm over eager again. <laughs> you found me and then you wasted arrows. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Although I'm in, I'm, I'm interested. Oh yeah, and also I forgot that I was gonna get that chest that was on that little mini lake. But I wanna see. How much health does a moblin have? I guess it wouldn't be terrible to go about like this. 56! So that would be like, uh... Basically, just like five hits from five or four hits from the spiked Boko Club. I guess I can beat you up. Maybe I can sneak up on you. You're like a heffalump from Winnie the Pooh. Die. Heffalumps and woozles are very 
confusals. Also, I don't know how the dragon show up in this one. I was gliding down from a waterfall, then some thunder dragon came out of nowhere and Pikachu's me. I think that was the same one that uh, I saw because, if I remember correctly, the dragons have like a set path throughout Hyrule. So they begin in one place at like midnight, fly through Hyrule throughout the day, and then uh, have an end point that they disappear into and then it begins again. Memory time. <laughs> Sneak attack equals eight times damage. I wonder why. Like, I wonder why eight between five and ten, even, or like, or like kind of those round numbers that you know about. Why they specifically went with eight. Activate memory. What is here? From here, we'll make our way to Goron City. Then, we'll need some adjustments on that divine beast so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. He's figured out how to get it to move. Zelda is so progressive, making sure that the Goron can pilot the super weapon in what comfort. Do you think? That divine beast was actually built by people. That means we should be able to understand how it works and how to use it to our advantage. You'd think. These divine beasts. So much we don't know. But if we want to turn back Calamity Ganon, they're our best hope. I am listening, dear Zelda. Tell me the truth. How proficient are you right now wielding that sword on your back? <laughs> Legend says Probably that decently. an ancient voice resonates inside it. Can you hear it yet, hero? I cannot hear the voice of... What's her name? The ancient blade spirit from Skyward Sword. From Twitch chat. Well, ten would be too much and five wouldn't feel like it's worth the trouble. Maybe. It's just like it's an odd amount. Eight, specifically. And I shall take that away. I guess we'll try and make our way to the other memory. Uh, then we'll hit these. And I forgot to do the thing. So probably what we'll do. Okay. Probably what we'll do. Hit the memory. Teleport. Try to get this one. Teleport back. Get heart. Just see about things. You can't hear the voice because your Wii remote ran out of batteries. Yeah, that would do it. I know that's one of the jokes. It's like, funnily, I've never played Skyward Sword. I do have the Switch version. But, uh... Guess I'll just zoom in and put that down so I can follow that a bit easier on the map. But if we do run into a guardian, I should be able to slightly cheese it if I run into the woods. Hey, birds. Yep. Haha. <laughs> Drumsticks and radishes. Aren't these so rad, dude? Don Choo Choo Jelly Slimes. No one loves you. You are not the Dragon Quest slime. You never will be. You horrendous truffle muncher. Let's see. So yeah, I can still run into wandering animal things. And you have a beam weapon? I have a beam weapon. Ok. 
Currently, I don't think so. I forget if you get, like, the Skyward Strike when you get the Master Sword. Hmm. I kind of want... Maybe we can sneak up and see how much health a Guardian has. I doubt I can sneak strike a guardian. That would be amusing, though, if I could. Why isn't... Oh, okay, I was going to say, why isn't the guardian attacking the Bokoblin? Because it's working for Ganon, you idiot. Me, I am the idiot. Darn, I didn't get to see its health. That'd still be a cool thing if I could, indeed, sneak strike a guardian. I doubt I could. Oh, Jesus! 1,500. I don't think I have the weapons. <laughs> Ah. Unless I hit it in the eye a lot. But yeah. 1,500. Again, unless I can get like a... A sneak on you. Which I doubt because you're a... Sn little boy. How dare you. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Guardian did not care. So maybe it uh, wasn't gonna... It just decided, yeah, I'm not gonna get involved. But I'm still curious of trying to take it down. Of, like, trying to sneak up on it. I could probably save. The problem is like it's 360 degree vision. You can just see everything. So trying to sneak up on it is... Seemingly a futile attempt. But you can kind of sneak around them, just not up onto them. I think I actually snuck up on it. And it's like, what the hell? Oh, it is angry. Ah, oh, that's gonna hit, isn't it? Actually got so many legs and it just decided, nah. No more legs for you. No more legs for you. Now I can beat you to death with normal weapons. It'll take a bit, but you cannot see me.
Get smacked. <laughs> Your beam weapon can instantly destroy its legs? What beam weapon? You mean the guardian sword? Well, I didn't test that. Probably should have. Because I guess that would make sense. If, like, a guardian weapon would do good against a guardian. And now we can... You know what? I want to just use a bomb on you. <laughs> the bombs do one damage. Unless you mean, like, reflecting the beams back at them, which... That probably does a lot of damage. Oh, that's, uh... Not good at all! Yeah, Guardian uh, weapons do 30% bonus damage to Ancients. Gotcha! And I think that's also the Ancient Shafts I need to upgrade my bombs. Thank goodness that I had a... Ba ba ba, a fairy on me. I think I have a few. But extra funny that you can't cheese guardians with bombs. They just nuh uh the damage. Oh, Grey Goo There has to be some madman that's like, I'm gonna beat Breath of the Wild with only bombs. And then you just see him standing there, throwing bombs at a guardian. For a hundred and, like, fifty, uh, one thousand five hundred bombs. And guardian weapons destroy guardian legs in a single hit. I'll definitely need to keep track of that. Or, like, not keep track of that, but to keep that in mind. Also, as an aside, uh, remember to save. But that was my first guardian kill. Oop. There was a shrine. I saw a shrine. Pop it back in. I saw you. Ah, but all the DVDs are taken. Well, we're close to it, so we'll delete the pen. And... Bonk! Shall keep that in mind. Now I just need to hopefully not run into another free roaming guardian as I head to the place. The problem is there's probably a lot of guardians free roaming around. Every bit of movement I see makes me go, Oh no! Is it a guardian? Has it come to kill me? But I actually don't see any guardians around here. Problem is that I'll probably run into the... Like, uh... By the time I get to, like, the the little platform up, there's one. So I should be able to get there. Oh, and there's one, too. Jesus. I almost think that this is ruder than the one I went to. The other one was emotional pain. This one, this is uh, actual pain. Because there's two guardians out on the hunt for you. Oh, fucker. I shall hide from you. Oh, you. there's even like a little diddly dip on the mini-map. Never noticed that before. Just here for a memory. Leave me alone, guardian. I'm just here for, uh, not really therapy, but, uh, memory something or other. Third memory.
would be funny if there was the Guardian still there. Turns around, sees me, starts running at me as I'm trying to activate my memory. Hero of Hyrule, chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. You have shown unflinching bravery and skill in the face of darkness and adversity, and have proven yourself worthy of the blessings of the goddess Hylia. Whether skyward bound, adrift in time, or steeped in the glowing embers of twilight. I know those references. The sacred blade is forever bound to the soul of Skyward the Sword, Ocarina of we Time, for your Twilight Princess. And we hope that that the two of you will grow stronger together as one. You are not feeling the official duties of Princess Tude, aren't you? This is a very. Hey, this is uplifting. <laughs> She's making it sound like we already lost. Also, it's a very long ceremony. Isn't this your idea? You're the one who wanted to designate the appointed night with all the ceremonial pomp, grandeur, and nonsense we could muster. I still really and like Rivali. His design's so the good. The whole thing does seem to be overkill. I think I'm on the same page as the princess regarding this boy. Oh, give it a rest. That boy is a living reminder of her own failures. Well, what, what do you mean? At least that's how the princess sees Because him. he's the hero, he already got the, the sword, and she's like, I haven't awoken my powers yet. Also, the abs on Urbosa. Yeah, that would be a, a neat one to be pointed to. The faith is high in this memory. The only one with faith was like Mifa. And hide from you again. And then I need to cheese it. Or I could just teleport. Oh! There was a thing right there? Goodbye, Guardian! I teleport away! Again, it'd be hilarious if, like, the gameplay continued during that. The Guardian turns, targets my glowing wisp teleportations, and shoots at them. Even if it doesn't do damage. Well, let's try and... Let's see... Where are you? What? Oh, wrong uh, one over here. That's the, what's that glowing light pen that I placed down? Uh, of course there is. Ah, there you are. I, I hit a tree. So there's another shrine, aha. Uh -huh. I had a tree, so I completely missed my target. You. Decently far away. And the main problem is that, like, that is also pretty far away. I guess I'll take this pin away, because I don't really need reminders. It's pretty easy to find. Oh, because that one's far away, because of course it is. But... Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hello, Va Meadow. Hi, ah, you're kind of close. To a degree. Just trying to think, like, uh, which towers are closer. I guess I'll take that away. I'll see the glowing light eventually. Yeah, problem is it's kind of close to that. Mount Daphne's. We'll probably try to climb here, see if there's anything interesting there. Try to head down to this shrine. But then at the same time... Hmm. Since we can find it relatively easily... Oh. I wish there would be like a way to take pins away. But yeah, I'll come back and do that. Ah, what I could do is... 
place. That for shrine. To remind me. And on that front, I'll look around, see if there's any other shrines within view. No, it's only you. Alright. So the next thing that I'll do is we're going to teleport back. Well, let me see. Items. We have four. Okay. So we'll go ahead and teleport back to here so we can get the heart. Then we'll go do a few shrines and stables as we run to Zora's Domain. Were I more, like, self-affirmed of my skills, I would try to parry the laser beams of the Guardians, but I do not have that faith in me. I long for hearts. Heart. Parrying makes you feel so cool when done right. Exactly. But my timing has been terrible lately, so I fear. Huzzah. And I should do more cooking. Let's see. Sneaky river snails. I guess I'll see, like, uh, make of various different kinds of... Oh. I thought those were a elixir maker, not a food maker. Yeah. It's hard to tell sometimes, because, like, you don't cook the warm darners into food. You put them into an elixir. Oh, we should also probably teleport to... Same thing with, like, the hot-footed frog. When frog legs are a food... I was the polar opposite. I went stamina first, which is totally understandable. You want to run around and do things. But for me, I want to get the health up so that I can survive more. Maybe get the... Oh, and another one? What do you mean? That one specifically said, I thought, elixirs. Cook it. Cook with it. So I guess not bake in. Hmm. You're just like, the blue nightshade, that doesn't seem like something you'd cook into food. What about you, Silent Shroom? Eh, yeah, cooking it into a dish. Me just assuming everything goes into elixir. So I just want to make various things... Kind of things in my inventory. This one is food. What if we... Want to take away one? Oh, that's kind of not what I meant, but oh well. Oh, I should probably also make a... Let's see. Two hearty radishes and then... Meat. Let's see if that works. Full recovery plus six. That one's probably boss in the end game. Okay, what about one with chicken? All right. Full recovery indeed. Cook various things because we can. Hmm. 
cook with meat and see what it makes. And well, if we only put two in with meat. <laughs> Who needs to cook food when you could just spam apples? That's also a possibility. Make a bunch of radish dishes for full recoveries. And make some energizing skiers. In case I ever get into a situation where I need to refill my stamina. This is definitely something I need to make lots of. More stamina! Hmm, interesting. Let's see. Speed boost. And then to monster pots. Well, I guess we will quickly also jump over to Hatino Lab to power up our bombs. And then we'll go on our shrine and stable hunt towards the Zora's Domain. Also, another reason to do cooking is because then we can sell the stuff. And money is important. Money is very important. Ah, uh, did you bring me any ancient materials? So, which rune do you want to upgrade? My remote bombs. Yes. Here I go, snap. Hey, oh, got it. Okay, then remote bomb upgrade underway. Guidance stone lock removed now. Let's do this thing. Now my bombs shall become even more bomb. Huzzah. Bomb plus. Stronger blast, recharge faster. Huzzah. Yep, killing the guardian exactly gave me, I think, precisely three shafts, which is what I needed. <laughs> yeah, the, the last one requires a bunch of cores, which I don't have. I could try and go into the mountains, maybe. I'm not sure if there are, like, any quests or anything there. Or we're going to head back. I guess, yeah, we'll start here in Flibdy Flu. On to Zoro's Domain. We're going to spam bombs all over the place, all over Buck Hoblin face until that face is just pays. Because the bombs, all the bears, they're blue, then they explode in blue again. The power of bombs. And cores are a rather rare part. Yep, we can find some if shrine prizes. Which is a... Well, you're rude. Time for bombs. <laughs> uh, it doesn't kill you because you're a skeleton. Bomb. But I can spam the bombs even more now. Power of bomb. It goes kablue. And then the bomb makes you disappear too. Power of the bomb. Yeah, we'll follow this path. 
You're mucking me, aren't you? I saw that falling thing. <laughs> the time it would be nice to have a teleporting horse. I'll just stabilize him for a while. So I don't even know precisely where the thing fell. Oh, that's not good. That's a peace swarm. That key swarm is going to come in for another run. Well, usually they do. They usually don't fuck off that fast. I could have sworn that there was a red light drop over here. I don't know exactly how far in it went. I'll grab some stamella. This just completely distracted me. No, that's just a light. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't at a good place, so... We'll just head back our way. Alright, there's just a bunch of key swarms running about. Yep. The impressive part is how that doesn't get rid of all of them. There's so many keys, they just absorb the entire blast. And I did want to hunt down the red light, but... Don't think that I was in a good place to actually track it. So I don't know exactly where it fell. Oh, well... We'll just head to the stable, those two shrines along the way. And you know what? I'll practice my bombs on you. How powerful are my bombs? Completely missed because of the skeletons. Alright, that's a pretty big increase. I can kill you in three bombs now. Explosions! So. Come on, Key Swarm. Yep. I have a bomb with your face on it. It's what you get, Key Swarm! At least this means I'm getting a bunch of, uh, keys materials. Not that many eyes, though. I guess I'll hunt these guys down. I have enough bombs that can, like, one-shot them all. And apparently they're having a party in the middle of the night. Hey, you want a party? I have some bombs for ya! <laughs> There was a dragon and I missed it. Or at least in my Twitch chat, there was a yell of dragon. Maybe it was far off in the distance and I just didn't see it. Because I know I did, like, uh, see Farosh a while back. And I think we're, well, uh, no, we were kind of far away from where Farosh, like, hangs out. But who knows? Huh. 
Yes, shrine detector. There is a shrine nearby. You. Bumbler. But first we're gonna go to the shrine. I guess we'll activate this and shoot some balloons. That's one way to get revenge on the... F I am terrible at this. What did you shoot to hit? That one obviously should have missed. Darn. There we go. Children of the forest will burn. You've heard of the Hammer of Witches? We'll get ready for the Hammer of Koroks. Wasting all my goddamn arrows. My arrows. All for a single Korok seed. Hey, Birdman, are you gonna be here? I wanna meet the Birdman. The Bird Dilf. I have a thing for me. Hi. Ah, customer. Are you traveling alone? This inn gets full marks for beauty, so I highly recommend taking a rest here. The river here makes for some lovely scenery, and if you head northeast from here, you'll find the Millennio Sandbar. The scenery there is every bit as lovely as the scenery here. I'm something of a connoisseur of beauty, you see. I simply cannot resist a beautiful sight. <laughs> I try to exude this in all things, not least of all my own beautiful appearance. I guess you're not terrible. Speaking of, has anyone ever told you you have the most beautiful features? Uh, I do have many fond memories of this beautiful land. If you have the time, would you indulge me? Sure. Oh, you would. Even more beautiful on the inside. Now, let's see. If you head north through Hyrule Field, you'll see the castle surrounded by that foul aura. It has long been a den of monsters, but its glory days, it was surely a thing of wondrous beauty. It was in that very castle, in those very days, that my ancestor, mm, my grandfather's grandfather, I believe. Anyway, he worked as the castle's appointed chef. I couldn't believe in myself. Oh, how I wonder what sorts of cuisine members of the royal court enjoyed in those good old days. As a child, I would often suffer meager meals, all while dreaming of the beautiful dishes that might have graced my plate. Oh, if only things had been different. Gourmet spiced meat, seafood curry, mushroom risotto, egg pudding. No. Oh my, I oh. think I'm salivating. And it's my pursuit of those childhood dreams that explains the fabulous body you see here. These days, I enjoy my time working at these stables, sharing my tales of beauty with any traveler willing to listen. But I still wonder, what could have been? Anyway, excuse me, I seem to have caught myself prattling on. But looking upon your perfectly symmetrical face and discussing meals of beauty has rekindled my desire. If you should happen to set foot inside Hyrule Castle, could you find it in you to keep an eye out for a cookbook? There must be one line lying around somewhere in there. I'm simply dying to finally sample the food of the royal court. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, Beetle! Wow. You know, I was just thinking about you. Oh, you appear to have a bladed rhino beetle. You just keep taking all of my bladed rhino beetles. Beetle loves bladed rhino beetles. Would you consider giving it to me? Sure, I'll take that. <laughs> Yahoo! Beetle is so excited. You're such a sweetheart. I'll add this bad boy to my beetle collection. Yay! Anyway, back to business. <laughs> Guess I'll buy a selection of arrows. Let's see. Oh. Things that I can sell. Let's see. Uh, hmm. I guess I'll keep the, the rancid food. Get small bonuses. Hmm. These sell for quite a bit for, like, single diddly -dees. So I guess I'll sell that since it's, like, full store only plus three. Let's see, anything else? 
I'm not that desperate, but I'll definitely keep that in mind. So, idea. Go to album, Hyrule Compendium. Let's see. Target with sensor. Now, if we ever... I don't know if that's the shrine or not. Hello. Have you gone to the giant castle north of here? That's Hyrule Castle. It's said to have fallen to ruin over a hundred years ago. I used to sneak in there but to salvage ancient treasures, but it's too dangerous to go in there now. Mm. These days it's surrounded by an eerie mist and savage machine-like creatures. But when it was safer, I went in looking for this ultra-rare equipment that once belonged to the Royal Guard. It's legendary among collectors, but I was never able to find any. Well, let's take a look at Super Rumor Mill. From the moment I wake to the moment I sleep, my mind is full of rumors. Even my dreams are gossipy. Tracy here. You fine folks keep up with dream rumors too, don't you? Well, this one's so good it might as well be a dream. Listen up, history buffs. This tidbit is about the brave soldiers who were tragically wiped out during the Great Calamity. The royal guards who protected the royal family. Amongst Hyrule's soldiers, only the best of the best had the honor of guarding the royal family. Apparently, the equipment they wore can still be found somewhere in Hyrule Castle. They say a former maid spoke of treasure near the dining hall in the guards chambers and on the second floor. I do hope one day Hyrule Castle is restored to its former glory complete with royal guards. Hmm, I wonder when a royal guard in shining armor will come and sweep me off my feet. Tracy's recommendation, five stars. <laughs> we'll go do this shrine. And there's another shrine. Oh, hey, Hestu! We'll do you first. Hey. I completely forget what voice I gave you. Shalaka! So we meet again. I want to go home to Korok Forest, but I've lost my way. According to the folks at the stable, this area is Central Hyrule. Shalako. That means Korok Forest is still much farther north. Well, since I'm already here, I may as well stay a while and relax. This is a terrible voice for him. Uh, wait a minute. I know that smell anywhere. It's a Korok seed. You've collected a Korok seed from the forest children, haven't you? If you give me Korok seeds, I'll expand one of your stashes. Let's see. Definitely weapon stash, because that's the one that I use more. <laughs> And the main thing, I don't know when he'll say, I need to get going. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Expand a band band. Weapon stash shakala. Do weapon stash again for three. Yeah. I'll go on to the fourth one. Because I definitely want to be able to carry around more weapons. Hmm. I guess shield stash, because that should just take one, yeah. Hopefully Hestu stays around, like, uh, basically just lets me spend all my Korok seeds. Because I don't think I need that many shields, so I think I'll just do that. Alright, I'll increase bow stash once, and then I'll probably keep upgrading my weapons. And now I'll be able to carry around so many things. Because I don't go through shields almost at all. Bow is not all that much. Weapons, though. I go through weapons. Weapon stash. Because I just want to be able to collect more weapons. More weapons. Strange you didn't stick around for me. I... Unless it's, like, you mean this specific one, he does, like, go away after us. Oh, maybe here it is. Hmm? <laughs> I, I think 
I remember how to get back to the Korok Forest. Maybe I'll head back now. I bet Grandpa's waiting for me. Thanks for the Korok seeds. I'm off to Korok Forest. Come visit me there sometime. You had to jinx it. You jinxed my Vestu into running away. What have you done? <laughs> but the timing on that was hilarious. But now I got a bunch more weapons. Or like weapon diddly -dees. He left after my second pay. He left after my second or... Th yeah, I think he left after my second upgrade the first time we met. And then I guess... Maybe it's proportional to the amount of seeds you have. Maybe. Let's see. Well, first things first. I'm gonna climb ya. I'm gonna climb ya! I'm gonna climb ya! I didn't find him again until I reached his home. He probably has, like, a... Like, I honestly don't know. Maybe if you follow, like, a... A specific path, he'll... Potentially show up. Let's see if I can get this to come with me. As a full stack. Who needs to, like, uh... Actually make a stack. When I can keep stack. Oh, it's just a normal wall. Drag the stack. Drag the stack. Draggy the stacky till we go. Alright. So... Trying to think. So now we have to drag the stack. Honestly, don't know. Oh, that's what I need to do. Okay, I got it, got it, got it. I need to drag the stack close and then make a bridge. Or like a ramp. There we go. Fix that up. Come to me. Alright, put that a little too close. Move the stack. No, it's probably too far away. There we go. Time to climb this stack. Give me your balls, old man! Your spirit balls! I'm more impressed that I managed to keep the stack from falling the entire way. That would have been slight pain to f fix that up each time. I wonder how many hearts I need for the Master Sword. We'll have to figure that out. I wonder if it's pointing towards a shrine, because I know there's another shrine, but it's all the way over there. So maybe it is pointing me in the direction of a uh, hardy radish? All right, I think that's illegal. Hmm. 
Well, there's a bridge over here anyway, along with the other shrine. Oh, hey, dude, are you... are you a criminal? Excuse me, young traveler, but I may be so bold you look quite troubled. Perhaps a glimpse into what your future holds will bring comfort to your spirit? Eh, sure, why not? It's gonna be death, isn't it? Excellent, now Lynn, let me see. Uh. I see. Black. So much blackness, a deep dark abyss drawing you in. <laughs> ah, it's the void you're about to inhabit! Ooh. Now die! Oh, I can't even do that against you. You fool! Get blasted, idiot. I got you with the mid-air blast. I swear I've run into more travelers than Hestus. Definitely want to get to that Tron. But first I'll check out that forest for more hardy radishes. You beat up a person, a child, a man-child, prepare to die. Hey, idiot. How'd that happen? Ah, uh, my aching head. Why did I think it was a good idea to take this road? Ah. I like watching the river flow by. Is that such a crime? Seeing the water stream so peacefully makes it hard to believe the Great Calamity really ah. happened. Then monsters attack out of nowhere, and I think, oh, right, time to head back to the stables. Uh, whatever. At least you're not dead. You managed to survive. Radish. I want a radish. 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 Where are you, radish? Radish. Radish. You are going to die. Your tree head is gone. Suffer death. He's telling me that there is a radish somewhere. Yep. Die. Radish. Rad there's a radish. <laughs> radish. Radish. I can make those guys go boom. Hmm. Ba da 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 You utter meringues For I come for you You dare Let me see. I'll drop that. Pick up Traveler's Bow. And let's see. I'll beat you to death with this club. And then... Bomb! With the mighty power of the bomb, you die. With the power of the bomb. I shall take this box and make it my own. Make 
climb higher, maybe, if I can actually uh, climb it. I can! Well, let's see if we can make it all the way to the top. Climb the Tower of Doom. Climb the Tower of Doom. What was the purpose of this tower? I think it just has things on top. It's like a circus platform from hell. <laughs> it's funny to see a rock octorox reactions to a bomb. It's like, where'd my hat go? Oh god! Exactly. Radish. Radish. I can make single radish dishes and sell them for lots of money. Eh? Radish. 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 Oh. Say goodbye to your hat. And then, say goodbye to your life! You horrific heathen! You dare spit at me, good sir? No more than your place in hell! There's far too many of you. I grow tired of your existence. I just came here for radishes! Oh, hey. Gotta sneak up on this guy and beat him to death. Dang it. Octorok, you deserve death. I don't even know if it was me that triggered him or you. Bastard. I almost got like a hundred rupees, you fuck. We must take the Octorok to Ganon Court. Dun, dun, dun. Calamity Ganon, your honor. That Octorok cost me like a hundred rupees. Death. Dang thing warned him with that shot. Exactly. And now we'll journey back through to get back to that one other shrine. But hey, at the same time, we got like three radishes. Which means that we have like three... There's so many Octoroks in this forest! I'm growing tired of blowing them up. The downside to having the ba 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 thing anything activated is that now I'll be like, is that a radish or is that a shrine? I'll never be prepared. <laughs> From YouTube chat. I scrolled down for a second, YouTube told me this game was made seven years ago. Yep. Indeed. We are going on 10 years of this game, which also means 10 years of the Nintendo Switch. Time is an illusion, and it's coming for you. Violently. And the sad thing is, I have yet to beat this game. That's kind of why I, this is still semi-blind, and I'm playing through it. I've yet to beat it, and hopefully this streaming series will fix that. I know I tried to stream it like a year ago, but that was back when I didn't have a schedule. And Brain was in a bad place. 
but hopefully now <laughs> I'll beat this before 10 years have gone by. All right, now we have to talk to the beast. Because she gets angry if you touch the flowers. Look, aren't they lovely? I wanted to see how the shrine would look with flowers around it, and it's wonderful. Please feel free to take a closer look. Just don't step on them. I'm going to see if I can get through without stepping on any of the flowers. Even though it is very funny. Her reaction to you stepping on them. And she does tangible damage to you. If you, uh, anger her enough. But you wouldn't get angry at the monsters if they... You mean to tell me that there's a big hearty radish right there, you bitch fucker. They are screaming out in pain. Oh, they're screaming out in pain, are they? They're screaming out in pain, are they? Well, how about this? Bomb! How many times do I have to say it? Please treat the flowers with care. They're living things, you know. Well, now we're living dangerously on an edge, because if we touch flower, uh, she's going to come kick our ass. Even though I want that big hearty radish. I wonder why she doesn't care about the grass. Bitch, that's just mean. A single patch of flowers right next to the <laughs> in, in the middle. Now I can teleport here whenever. And now I think she doesn't care if you touch the flowers. Oh, uh, this is this a combat one? Oh no, drifting. Deja vu, been in this time before. The troll patch. Exactly. You dare put a treasure chest in the waters, you fiend. I still made it. I'm the winner. You fiend. Ah. Huh. I wonder if I blow those up if that will also destroy the treasure of the chest. Well, at least the ones that are isolated, I can just go kabloom. Isolated destroyables. I destroy with gusto. Oh, you thought you thought that I'm waiting, waiting for the glory, Banana King. Come on, treasure chest. Come on, treasure chest. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Treasure chest! You whore! I will kill your family! Make them into leather bags! Fine, get out of here, bomb. No one loves you. Not even your family. Not even me. Oh, aim underfoot. Oh, that's cool. Give me your contents. 
You're mocking me, aren't you? I mock myself, apparently. Who needs to solve puzzles? When I have the power of bombs! You know, if you can float things in your hand, why don't you go kill Ganon? The monk casts testicular torsion. Ganon dies. <laughs> the blue fires have been burning for 10,000 years. How the hell? Oh no, I can get to that. I just have to take a roundabout path to get to this big hardy radish. And then and then she'll get angry at me if I touch her. Oh! So many times. I've lost count of how many times I've told you. It's just so many now. It's three. How do you not understand? Why don't you get it? Ah, no! I work day after day after day to plant those flowers and you come and hurt them over and over! I will make you understand. <laughs> the flowers rage! High rules, poison ivy. She took off three hearts. Utter mad woman. Well, there's corruption sludge, so don't want to go that way. Guess I'll just make my way to uh, the bridge and see about heading towards Zora's domain. <laughs> She's no Link's Awakening shopkeeper. If I remember correctly. Like, I know, like, the shopkeeps, I think, from the... Uh, blah, blah, blah. What are they? Uh, damn you? But, uh, what are they? Oracles of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. I think they also have... Like, or, or can you steal from them? I don't know. It's been a long time. Just for some reason, those shopkeeps stand out to me. Bob! Your friend is dead. And now so are you. Irrelevant fool what you are. Now you are dead and gone. I forget. I need to find that one quest that's like, hey, bring in five billion fireflies for that one Kakariko lady. I'm honestly surprised I've yet to fight a golem. Normally I've run into one by now. They're gone, Skelly. Horseman, wait for me. I desire knowledge. Ba 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 
Be gone, Satan! Horseman! Horseman! Wait for me, I desire conversation! Don't make me bring out the Kronos power! Hey there, adventurer! A word of warning for you. You might get into your head to go to check out Hyrule Castle, but I've never encountered a more dangerous place. If you head there hoping to find treasure, be careful that you don't lose your life. Hey, electric keys. Yep. Shit. <laughs> killed you anyway. <laughs> yeah, the shopkeeper not only killed you, he permanently changes your name to Thief. Fear the power. There's a shrine over there. Let me just, uh... Pop. And shrine over there. We'll head to you. Try and get as many shrines done as possible without bogging things down. Uh, there's a skull house here. Let's invade the skull house and kill everyone inside. No one will mourn them. No one will mourn them at all! Hmm, there's a light in the window. So if we destroy the light, they'll all die inside. Like I have. The wrong fucking arrow. Your family and friends are dead? Fool what you are. You dare show yourself? What if I shot you in the head? Actually, what if I threw a bomb at you? <laughs> Uh, you're a very dumb person, aren't you? Throwing your spear at me? How dare you throw a spear? I don't think I've ever seen an enemy throw their weapon at me before. And everything that was in here is dead, burned away. Unless it was just that one guy. We're gonna make our way to that shrine And then I don't know Try to find a good way around Make it to that shrine, wander around, maybe That seems pretty far away for that other shrine, so Okay, we'll delete the pin, but immediately put treasure. That way in the future, when I look at my map, I see treasure, I know, shrine. Head to the shrine, get the bobble, shred shrine, dee 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 dee. They never expected me to come from the water. <laughs> <laughs> they never expected water. Ah, 50, huh? Let's see. I'm going to stab this right up your ass. Stay right where you are. Stay right where you are. Die! Why are they God in this shrine? Bunch of weirdos. Don't you know these shrines are like public access television? Stay right there. I'll stab you. Stay right there. 
Goodbye. Your friend doesn't even know that you're dead. And he probably doesn't care because you guys can revive yourselves with the Blood Moon, but... Say goodbye, Geomethy. <laughs> With the power of Metal Gear. From... Alright, another shrine. Oh, no, it's the same shrine. It just seems closer than before. My eyesight is fine. Shut up. Down we go. What will this be? Just please do not be a combat one. Although I guess I my uh, inventory's bigger, so... I don't think it's a combat one. It feels too open. Not the baubles! Bobble time, bobble time. Time to play Scoop the Diddly Do. Darn. Get in there. We're gonna play Scoop the Balls over and over and over again, shit. We got no time to patiently scoop the balls. Come here, come here. It's time to scoop you out. Violently scoop the balls like they owe you money. Where's the spirit orb, Lebowski? I keep going too fast. Physics is my enemy now. Come on, get out. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill your whole family. Hopefully, I don't need all of them. But I do need this ball, or like a, this carrier. So maybe if I did it like... Surely I don't need, need that many balls. Just need to be careful not to, like, block them. I need to put it on top. I'm a fool. Damn it. Yeah, get back in there. Get back in the water. Damn it. Where's the money, Lebowski? There we go. Hopefully it stays. Don't roll me. It, it jumped. Sure. Wasn't expecting it to jump like that. I knew that there would be something like this. Give me good. That's actually pretty good. You dare say that my inventory is full? Be gone, stick. You give me that silver longsword. 
Looks ornate as all hell. You know, my brain just went, what if there was like a Breath of the World, uh, Breath of the World, Breath of the Wild Majora's Mask kind of game, where Link transformed into like Rito, Goron, and Zora. I think that'd be neat. If only to feed my Link as a Rito idea. More spirit orb, one more, and I get even more health. Get stabbed, get stabbed, get stabbed, get stabbed, go flying. This is mine now. Mine. Well, actually, I'll beat you to death. This. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you to death. Mine. Oh, for a moment, I was just like, what the fuck was that? Mm -hmm. <gasps> you there. How are you not attacked by the Lozolfos? Hey. Over here! Over here! I hear you and see ah. you. I knew it. You're a Hylian, aren't you? Yes, you must be a Hylian. Otherwise, you're one unfortunate-looking Zora. Harsh. Well, your timing couldn't be more perfect if you tried. It was ordered by Prince Sidon to find a Hy Hylian. I've been searching nonstop. Yes, quite. I certainly wasn't just floating around and splashing in the water for fun. Oh. Prince Sidon is a member of the distinguished Zora loyal, loyal, royal family. He is waiting at a no-go bridge, which is on the other side of that tall tower. I do hope you'll agree to go there and meet with him. Ah, yes. You must be taken aback by such a sudden request. My apologies. For us, Zora, this is our top priority right now. So I must beg you to grant my request, oh. And if you do meet Prince Sidon, perhaps don't tell him I was splashing about and playing in the water. Deal? No problem. I like that just wandering about, you can run into these... Just, like, NPC characters. <laughs> Who would give you, like, uh, directions. It's just really nice. <laughs> Prince Sidon, indeed. A distinguished big boy. What the fuck? Only now did I see that goddamn guardian. Lady, you better be careful. Just did not expect... A guardian. <laughs> Not expecting there to be just a guardian hanging about. Hmm. Hold it. And that's another dibbity. No, not you, you fucking tree. That's much better. Okay, we'll head to that one, hit that one, hit the tower. As we avoid the electricity man. Shocker! I'll hunt you to the ends of the earth! Hey, ducks. Yep. No. No escape for you. <laughs> this guardian, says Twitch chat. Apparently hit somebody with trauma. Oh, hey, hearty radish nearby. It even tells me. Ah, SpongeBob, give me back my clarinet. We'll head this way to hopefully meet up with 
Anything interesting at the stable, do the shrine, hit that other shrine, and then hit the tower. The guardian made me learn how to parry. Fear the power of the guardian. Reddish. Reddish. Um, hello there. Hey. <laughs> you can't avoid us forever. Will you join the Yiga clan? I'll pass. Oh. What? You're refusing? That's a foolish choice. One that you will not survive making. I will take your life. I wasn't expecting you to have a neat hat like that. Get beaten to death. Beat by big stick. Stick. Big stick. Darn. No, no, no. Darn, I was gonna throw up this club at you. And I missed. I'm playing silly games with this man. I was just playing silly, silly games. Well, now I have to go save these morons. Why I... Like, are you the same people I saved not too long ago? Bonk. Bonk. What is of all you people? Uh, You've done what neither my wife nor I could have, and we're alive as a result. Thank you. Hey, that's a pretty good dish you gave me. Uh, I suppose no place in Hyrule is safe anymore, not even the settlements. All the more reason for me to redouble my training in order to help my beloved Sorelia. Come on, Reddish. I want Reddish. The power of Reddish compels you. The power of Radish. The power of Radish. Ah, Endura Shroom. Oi. Yo! Really? Another guy? The only people I can meet here at the stable are men. Eh. Uh, what is this place? Oh. It's a filthy stable filled with nothing but unwashed men. Well, it's raining now. They're gonna get washed one way or another. And even when you were finally visited by Azora, turns out it was some manly prince guy who's a dude. <laughs> Sadie's the only reason I'm sticking around this dump. <laughs> Sadie? Sadie, well, I owe him my life. It's a pretty long story. Tell me. Oh. All right, here it goes. Have you heard the rumor about the strange mountain on which a bunch of animals appear at a certain time? Well, when I heard that, I went there to do some hunting. I thought it sounded like a good opportunity to turn a profit, selling the meat and whatnot. And mm. then, so I go to the mountain and wait for the animals to show up, when suddenly this dirty little pup appears out of nowhere. I figure he's been separated from his parents or abandoned by his last owner. He starts begging for food, so I give him some jerk and he runs off over a hill. Later on, I doze off for a little while, and when I come to, there's a big glowing beast standing right in front of me. It caught me completely off, off guard. I couldn't even draw my bow. I just stared at it. And then the beast runs at me like it wants to trample me. Suddenly, the pup I gave food to jumps in between us. He starts barking at the beast who was ten times his size. All to protect me, even though he was trembling with fear. Then the beast recoiled a bit. So I took the chance to snatch up the pup and flee down the mountain, tripping and falling all the way. And then that's my story. The strange mountain is called Satori Mountain. It's west of central Hyrule. <laughs> Hyrule? Hyrule. 
I brought Sati back here, and we've been best buds ever since. If you're feeling brave, you should go find the glowing beast on the mountain and give it a stern talking to. Oh, hey, Beetle! Hey, welcome! Oh, you appear to have a bladed rhino beetle! He just wants my bladed rhino beetles. Sure. <laughs> Woohoo! Thank you so much! Alright, what do you have to sell today, beetle? <laughs> I guess I'll take all your arrows. Wow. I guess I'll buy these smothering butterflies for when I need to make things like that. Look what I've got. I don't have anything to sell, do I? Or like the typical things that I want to sell. Well, I have some more mighty radishes, so I'll go ahead and sell these to you. Because I can always make more. <laughs> oh, hey, it's you. Oh, you're the guy who found the great fairy fountain. Funny running into you here. Are you traveling too? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture, let's see it already. Oh, good. This one I would have no idea. That forest. I get a feeling I've seen it before. I can't say for certain, but I believe this may depict the forest just south of here. No, wait, maybe it's the forest on the other side of the river, northeast of the bottomless swamp. I went for a stroll around there recently, and I feel like I might have seen a view like that. Southeast of the swamp. So, like, around here, I think? <gasps> it's the Dilf! Yeah. Greetings, traveler. How about a song? Oh. The, the, there, on your hip. No, I'm sorry. It's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> Are you a bird? Oh. Have you never met a Rito before? My name is Cass. As a bard, I spend my days traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? Ancient songs? Mm. Ancient songs. Songs that sing the praises of a hero who beat back the calamity in an age past. One of the more famous among them recounts the events of 10,000 years ago. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down to me by my teacher. Do you care to hear it? Let's hear it! Oh. Excellent. Without further ado, let's see if I can even sing in that voice to a tune. The kingdom of Hyrule is a vast and story. That when a dark force of destruction many times undone rises once again, Ganon the Calamitous One. But hope survives in Hyrule, for all is not lost. Two brave souls protect it, no matter the cost. Gotta sing fast. A goddess blood princess and a fearless knight. They appear in each age to fight the good fight. Their battle with Ganon I've committed to song to keep it through time, no matter how long. Now begins the second verse, listen and you'll know of their battle with Ganon ten thousand years ago. The kingdom of Hyrule was once a land of lasting peace, a culture of such strength and wit that suffering did cease. Apparently this one is like a bit longer than the last ones. But Ganon looked beneath the surface, strengthening its jaws. So the ancient people of Hyrule set out to help the cause. Their efforts bore fruit in an automated force to help avert calamity by sealing it at its source. 
For giant behemoths for which power never ceased, each of these titans was called a divine beast. And free-willed machines that hunted down their prey, these guardians were built to last so they could join the fray. To guide the beasts in battle, warriors were needed, so four champions pledged to see Ganon defeated. Divine beasts, guardians, princess, and knight, their plan to rout Ganon was looking airtight. And when Calamity Ganon reared its head, Hyrule rose against it. The optimism, <laughs> the op I just completely missed that one. Ganon raged in its assault, boiling with hate. It gnashed its teeth and thrashed about, but it was all too late. The Guardians kept the heroes safe through every hour. It gets hard because I don't know how long those lines will be there. The Divine Beasts unleashed the attacks that weakened Ganon's power. The hero with the sealing sword struck the final blow, and the holy power of the princess sealed Ganon's soul. And that is the story of the brazen attack on Calamity Ganon ten thousand years back. Do they change the amount of years every, like, millennia? From YouTube chat, I love the remix of the main Zelda theme here. It is really good. Thank you for listening. Please come back and hear it again sometime. Just so happy to see Cass. Just wonderful design. Hey there, Tracy here, representing the Rumor Loving Sisters. Have you heard gossip from your family members? Here's my current favorite. Dragons actually exist! No way, that simply can't be true. Is that what you're thinking right now? I used to think that too. But then I traveled to Leneiru, Akala, and Farron, and heard some real eyewitness accounts. Of course, these were scoops for children, but still... Children are pure-hearted, mean, meaning they would never lie. I have total confidence in my sources. Funnily, they're correct. Because the dragons do exist. I haven't seen one myself and took a picture. That. Huh. I was like, what's that? It's a wagon down there. I hope we see more of Cass. I have no idea where he shows up. I just know that he shows up sometimes at some stables. And I think there's like a quest involving him that I've never done. I want to do that one this time. Alright, what this one is. Waterfall time. My ice block. Ah, darn it. No idea why I can climb ice but not watered surfaces. The game is very picky. You have to be just tall enough to climb. Oh no. Uh, no. I'm not dealing with you. Oh guardian, oh guardian. Ooh, an ancient core, hell yeah. I need that for my stasis upgrade. Darn it. Hmm. 
No. No. Darn. I'm not dealing with you. Ah, uh, no. Oh. Stupid water. You'll never take me alive. Give me that chest. Let's see. What I know. Uh, uh, what thing must I throw? Be gone, spear. to be anything there, so we'll just ice our way there. It would be a little bit clever if there was, like, a treasure hidden, like, down on the waterfall, but that's not what I wanted. I did not want to do a swan dive. I didn't want to go to swan dive hell. Give me your orb. And now we can get another heart already. I might have to look up a guide just to know, like, where, like, cast would show up. Because I want to meet him in more places and do whatever quest he might be involved in. Hmm. I should go back and talk to the artist. To learn exactly what he suggested might be the way. I love that you can kind of know Cass is here when you hear his accordion. Alright, check it out and tell me again. Can't say for certain. A forest just south of here, but it might be on the other side of the river, northeast of the bottomless swamp. Uh. Northeast, so like... This kind of area? Because I'm trying to think. Northeast, other side of the river... Because I'm trying to remember which way east and west are. <laughs> From YouTube chat. You want to conveniently have the same coffee shop order as Cass, I understand. Except poor, poor <laughs> YouTube chatter misspelled it as ass. Immediately followed by Cass in all caps. Da, da, da. Hey! Oh, are you some kind of wanderer? Something like that. I don't care who you are, just lend me an ear. I finally got in my hands the legendary weapon. Really? Heh, <laughs> prepare to be blown away. Are you ready? It's called <laughs> the Master Torch. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called anyway. Whatever, leave me be, commoner. I'm trying to practice here. Uh, uh what's the matter? My older brother is Urza and Yolaro play all day long, but I have to stay here and give directions. Oh. Yeah. Chapter 4, Article 9 of the Stable Association Regulation states, Each stable must have personnel ready to give directions to visitors at all times. Mm. And somehow I got stuck at this dumb job instead of playing like my brothers. 
I guess that's what I get for being the only person at Wetland Stable with a grasp on geography. Okay, let's see. What's to the east? Zora's Domain, that's about it. What's to the north? <coughs> you know, Death Mountain, some other junk. Sure. Me too, but I never get to leave the stable. If you really want to know, you should go ask Riverside Stable. Da, da, da. Oh. We meet again. Small Kingdom. Did you see the shrine near the stable? I know quite a bit about shrines. Oh. You see, my teacher was the court poet for the Hyrulean royal family and also a member of the Sheikah tribe. He was well versed in ancient civilizations and surveyed ruins in the company of the princess, it seems. <laughs> Those memories seem to bring him a great deal of joy when he would speak of them. Anyway, I shall return to my craft. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. <laughs> Not right now, thank you. We already heard it. I see. Well, do let me know if you change your mind. Hello, doggo. Well, apparently somebody got their ass kicked. Because he said northeast of the swamp on the other side of the river. Bambi, kill that Bacoblin in the name of the gods. Failure, Bambi. Take a bomb. Get out of here. Oh, it's the same person. You got whacked again? At a different bridge? Oh, I'm making head. Let's see. So it might actually be that. Oh, great radish. So I need to make like hearty truffles and radishes, because those seem to sell a lot. Hmm, let me check my album itself. Yeah, because it's not a path. Not really. It's just a forested area to the northeast of the swamp. On the other side of the river. From the YouTube chat. Wait, this is where the Master Torch meme came from? Maybe. Or it could be that... That was uh, put there as like a reference to the meme, maybe? I don't know. Because I don't think I've ever heard of the Master Torch meme before. I never knew that it was a meme. I think this should be correct. Aha! It is correct! Memor! Die. I'm going to kill you. You dare get in the way of my memorizing? Give in to the memory. Link. Oh, a depressing one, isn't it? Because I hear the evil piano. How? How did it come? 
come to this? The divine beasts, the guardians, they've all turned against us. It was Calamity Ganon. It turned them all against us. I wonder how. And everyone, Mipha, Verbosa, Rivali, and Daruk, they're all trapped inside those things. It's all my fault. Our only hope for defeating Ganon is lost. All because I couldn't harness this cursed power. Technically, it's divine. Everything. Everything I've done up until now. It was all for nothing. So I really am just a failure. All my friends, the entire kingdom, my father most of all. I can't believe Link isn't one of her friends. I left them all to die. Harsh. <laughs> At this point, it's almost like every single memory Link gets, he's just like, I don't think I want to do this anymore. Blood Moon. Yay. Either that or Calamity Ganon has decided to come out to... I don't know. Pull a prank. Calamity Ganon starts a prankster YouTube channel. Truly the darkest timeline. Right after I got a depressing memory, too. The blood moon rises once again. We don't need to watch it. We know the evils have come. I'll make my way across. Darn it. It's simple platforming, Link. You know, your best thing. Remember when you were called Jumpman, wink wink. Well, at least it's not raining anymore. I'll bugger off. Please all die. Aren't you supposed to have gone and reincarnated into yourselves again? Why'd you have to come here? just cook up many a meal that I can sell for lots of money. Because if I just cook one hearty radish with anything else, they can be sold for like over a hundred rupees. Which is the ultimate money-making scheme. And plus, if I run into enemies and they try to kill me, that can also be a lucrative venture. Oh, 
Just imagine Link goes through absolute trauma, immediately goes cooking. Cooking! Link's comfort activity. And now it's no longer rainy, you're out here. Yeah, just the same thing again. Just wanted to make sure. No thank you, Mr. Cass. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll hit that. Try and head towards that one shrine. And then we'll hit the... Tower before... Ending things, I do believe. that head stop it I was trying to throw bombs at you I do find it funny that Cass was just like one of the breakout characters from this game every just everybody just loved the big buff bird dilf I climb, I climb, I might have to eat one of my stamina skewers. Nom. My stamina returns to me when I eat mid-climb. If I have infinite food, I never die. Climb, 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 climb. There better not be a little golem child up here like that first time. And I got an opal. That was worth the stamina. Hmm. Like, I don't see, see anything. Guess I'll just place that down. So we can go after him. Because we're not gonna go to Death Mountain. We're gonna go to Zora's Domain. That's not what I wanted at all. Let's see. Big off! Better, better not make me accidentally kill a fox. Yep. Darn. You leave that horse alone. Oh, that just annihilated you. How did it annihilate you? Did it send him so far up he took fall damage? was smart enough to try and run away. What did I do to deserve this? Bomb! Great googly moogly. I keep missing with that. I was just trying to get to a single shrine. From YouTube chat. Hello, I've returned. Hello, hello. We've been running around Hyrule for a while. We met good old bird daddy Cass. Yep. Or 
Alright, fine. You want to play this game? Let's get off that horse and get bombed. Bomb. Drop all your weapons and die. You dare roll around me on a horse? Great googly moogly, how many of them are there? Stop. Oh, I think that might kill him. Ah, almost. So if I time it just right, Bacoblins will fly into the sky and take fall damage to death. Oh, this might actually be a good way to go, to a degree. Because we can maybe go through va- Well, no, I don't think that would lead us to- Well, no, that leads us to the base of the tower. And from the base of the tower, we can then go... Try and do things proper-like. Hello, Foxy. I won't kill you. It is my... Pact with the... Foxes of Ghost of Tsushima. Do not kill them. And from the YouTube chat, hey Neon, when I put you into my new Minecraft world, the old one corrupted in 1.21, do you want to be Felina, Cat Person, Magmarite, Lava Dude, or Ardoni? I guess the Felina will work. Hello. Be gone. Brock monsters, prepare to die. Yeah, Felina should definitely work. First things first, we'll climb up that tower, see if there's anything there. Well, hmm. Ah, just monsters. That. Oh. oh, you there! Where are you? Hey! Ah, in the water. Over here! I'm over here! Like, I did hear somebody's voice. It's like, what? I apologize for calling on you so suddenly. I am Lido, a proud member of the Distinguished Zora. As you are a real Hylian, I have no choice but to call upon you. Mm? Will you please spare me a moment of your time? Sure thing. Oh. Thank you so very much. Do you see that tower? The one atop the mountain yonder? I need you to go upstream of Zoro River, which runs along the north side of that tower to a no-go bridge. I can see it in your eyes. You're asking yourself, why me? A reasonable question for a stranger accosted by a passing Zoro in such a manner. But I must assure you that this venture will be most far pro very profitable for you as well. You see, Prince Sidon of the Zora is in desperate search of a strong Hylian. And as this is a royal request from the prince himself, it's safe to assume a generous reward is in the cards. <laughs> that is why I'm asking you to meet with Prince Sidon at Anogo Bridge along the Zora River, just upstream from here. Sure thing, my dude. I do enjoy that there's, like, multiple Zora, and they're not just, like, repeated. It's not like they have a single Zora that just spawns along the way. They're different ones, which is very neat. Let's see what's up here. And from the YouTube chat. Wait, do you want me to build your own house or do you want to live in a small tree village? Mm, either one, really. I trust your judgment. No real preference to me. And now we shall fly down here, beat up this dork, burn away the, the diddly dees, and do the shrine. Say goodbye. Again, I swear, all physics just disappear when you kill them. Burn away the thorns. Who even put these here? Meisty toasty. Oh. Well, we got cooked meat. Wasn't cooked long enough, it's still raw. 
<laughs> from Twitch chat. Yeah, and one, uh, and there's one that practically jump scared me since he popped out of the water and onto the ledge I was at. <laughs> Just makes everybody's adventures in Hyrule their own and unique. Well, let us see. Will this be a combat one or what? Definitely not combat. There's a ledge. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I'm Sherata. Figure this shit out. Well, that's potentially... Probably shouldn't have done that. What if there's treasure down there that I missed? I immediately thought of you. Maybe if I hit it again, it will... Why do you turn that way? Why do you turn that way? Give me that treasure. More opal. If you time that right, you could like swan dive and bonk your head. Oh. I think there's like a ladder there. Raise me up before you go, go. <laughs> Iron Bobble, go be a bobble. Because I need to gotcha. I think I got it. I need to run immediately upon it being activated. Oh. Thought that would be enough to activate you. Dang it, I hate when that happens. It just takes my things away. But there we go. I wonder why they even have this. Oh. How would that even work? Do I hit it from here? No, I can't. Hmm. How do I get to that chest? It's not like you can get under or we'll get over. Because, like, the idea would be to, like, rate, like, have the water be. <gasps> hmm, no. I'm curious. What if I bomb arrowed you? Ah, oh, I got knocked out. Because it's 
just like, oh, maybe bomb arrow to... Aha! I did it. I got treasure. Oh, is there anything I care to get rid of for a giant boomerang? I guess I could trade like a small boomerang out for it. Be gone. Give me this giant boomerang. And your spirit orb, old man. I exploded things. Your resourcefulness of blowing shit up. Well, that means we can get another heart. Huzzah. But yeah, we're gonna make a beeline for the tower, activate it, and then we'll probably call it there. Since we've been going for four hours now, I just get really into playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild now. And hopefully... With my... Schedule, this will really, really last. I just want to cross a river, is it really that much to ask? Also, how do those thorns regrow so fast? Are they evil? <laughs> Suffer the power of bomb! I need to kill more birds so I can cook more dishes. Suffer! Oh, hey, crab. I'll pick you up in the arms of an angel. I say that because soon you'll go meet angels. <laughs> Stupid duck. Yes. I don't even know what what activated that. Probably a hearty heart, hearty heart. Yo, crab. Uh, you're probably an evil traveler, man, aren't you? Why are there so many restless? Why are there bugs and crabs and shit? Don't worry, Yika clan man. I will be with you in just a second. Let's see. Oh, yeah. hey. oh, no, yeah, you're evil. Step right up. Don't be shy. Check out my fine bananas. They're available to buy. Haven't I kicked your ass already? Your face is familiar. So if yellow, they'll make you yellow. So fresh, you'll think there's a tree around the corner and the taste like a dream. I'll pass. Yeah. Pass. Pass. It would be a mistake to pass all these amazing, wonderful, fantastic bananas. Listen, here's how it works. I sell, you buy. Stop holding up the show and do your part. I'll pass. Huh? What? Do you hate bananas? <laughs> I will take your life. No, it's because you're the one selling them. Ah, <laughs> huh, I drowned. I knocked myself into the water. Ah, 
And I'll take your bananas for free. I was half expecting it to actually do damage. I'm almost disappointed. I think for now I should probably like uh, set it just a shrine just in case. Ah, it is a shrine nearby. Might as well hunt for it. It's almost here it seems. What do you mean? Oh, it's right. It's lightly drizzling. I could hardly even see it. Satan's. Are you mocking me? There's one over there. Let me... It's definitely not that one, but... I mark so I can then zoom out. Oh, and... Uh, delete the stamp. And place treasure. Aha! I won't do it just yet. So I'm gonna go back and claim the tower first. Even though it's probably gonna be a pain because of the rain. I... Oh. Hey, it's kind of weird to see a hyaline around here. Indeed. <laughs> May, I'm a peddler, so I'm free to go where the wind takes me, or the waves, or whatever, yeah. Oh, well, let me introduce myself. Oh. I'm Duma. Nice to meet you. Ah. The Zora along the Zora River have been telling Hylians to go see Prince Sidon. The prince is waiting over at Nogo Bridge, wait to greet any, uh, waiting to greet any Hylians that show up. Mm. Yeah, I met that so-called prince. Thing is, he ain't no good. First thing he says to me, he says, I've been watching you. And then he says, what's your name? Can you believe the heat? that heat? I don't need it. So I ran away from him and all that noise. Now here I am. So yeah, if you want to see a freak show, go visit <laughs> Prince Sidon. Though I doubt it'll go for you since you're not a looker like me. Much of the fandom disagrees. I don't even need to go through you. I'll just fly across. Granted, I still need to deal with everything that's up here. Potentially. Huh, you're looking the wrong way, bud. What? Wrong thing entirely. I thought I still... I thought I swapped off the damn things. But I guess not. Oh well, I shall take advantage of this. Ever so slightly. <laughs> ah, you know what, uh, let's go back. Oh, I don't even need to do that. Your friends will never know. You've sounded the warning, but they're... How are you alive? Down there. No, genuinely, how? 
There we go. He had to recognize that he was drowning. That's kind of amusing. Never seen that happen before. I just had to remind him, hey, you're underwater. Or what I am? <laughs> but we'll climb our way up slightly to avoid as many enemies as possible. No. You dare fight among... You dare fight among evil skeletons? You're the worst there has ever been. Open this chest. Go flying, then go rolling. I will slowly climb my way up. Why would you even think that, fiend? <laughs> Sayonara, Bacoblin. You'll never get me. You don't know how to climb. Climbing is only a Hylian thing. We invented it. <laughs> Leneru Tower. You think with all these handholds, this would be more like a a ladder than a stamina draining climb, but a I'm not the one climbing it, Link is. Good old Lonk. You just gotta get up there. You gotta get up there. I wonder how many people increased their stamina purely to climb, fa like, faster so they could just spam the jumps. So they wouldn't have to do it economically. Like me. I mean, I guess I could put on the bandana, but nah. You gotta be sneaky while you climb. What if the tower notices you? Legend of Zelda, Shadow of the Colossus. I think that's the one I've already marked. Wow. Hello, my dude. Oh, I cannot believe it. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, you. I am Groove of the Zora. Oh. It is apparent that you are a traveler, but may I ask what brought you here? I could ask the same. Mm, uh, how very astute of you. An excellent query indeed. I, by order of Prince Sidon of Zora's domain, am searching for a Hylian. Or I was, but then I fell asleep. I awoke to a loud noise, an awful quaking, and now here I am. I'd like to get down and by my on my own way, but uh, I'm simply too high up. I need to figure something out. Prince Sidon is down at the bridge below, but for some reason I cannot seem to catch his attention. Mm -hmm. But you, you are a Hylian, yes? Oh. Well, then my luck is improving. Oh. Prince Sidon, I found one! I found a Hylian! Oh. Hmm, 
jumper inside and doesn't seem to notice my struggle. Perhaps I should swallow my fear and jump into the river below. Then I could return to him. He must be worried sick. No, nope, can't do it. I'm too high up. I'm likely to meet the gods of the ever after before I ever see Prince Sidon again. Aww. Mr. Hylian, I must apologize. It'll be some time before I can get back to Prince Sidon. Please, you must leave me here and go on ahead. You amuse me. Give me the map power! And from YouTube chat, by the way, yesterday I finally found out the name of the first Legend of Zelda game I ever played, Wind Waker. I've heard good things about Wind Waker, and how it was, like, just very rudely attacked by people back in the day. It's like, ah, it's too cartoony. Granted, doesn't help that it came out roughly after a, like, promotional video showcasing the power of the GameCube also came out, showcasing a much more realistic, basically HD-ified and more detailed Ocarina of Time-esque Link and Ganondorf fighting. I th oh, no, no, that was the Ocarina of Time thing, but there was a very, like, very much more detailed Legend of Zelda, like, graphics demo that everybody was like, ooh, I can't wait for that game to come out, but it wasn't a game trailer, it was a, like, technology trailer. And so then comes Wind Waker, and people are like, nah, this is too cartoony. And then, like, granted, the hate against Wind Waker is the reason that we kind of got Twilight Princess, and Twilight Princess is my favorite one, but Wind Waker deserves more help, like, more love. But we have a new regional map. And I do believe that that shall be it for now. We've done a lot. We got a lot of memories. We activated only one tower, I think. No, we activated two towers. One at the very beginning. We also did a lot of shrines. Made a lot of progress. And here we are at the cusp of Zoro, uh, Zoro's, Zora's Domain. Next time we play Breath of the Wild, we'll jump down there. Do that shrine. Then go down to the bridge. Make our way to Zora's Domain and see if we can do the elephant, I believe. Yeah, it's the elephant. I forget its name because brain. <laughs> Productive stream. Granted, it's almost five hours of streaming. Because this game just jives, jives with me. It's very good. Not sure if next stream will be Persona 3 or more Breath of the Wild. Again, Breath of the Wild is just really gelling with me. But if I'm in the mood for it and Brain is in a good place, we might do some more Persona 3. <laughs> Thanks for the stream. It was fun hanging out. And thank you for spending time here. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree in the description and bio in link place of nearly every site... It would also with the direct link being linktr.ee slash neon icy wings has links to everything that I do. Edited content YouTube channel, streaming YouTube channel, streaming Twitch channel for whichever one is your preferred. And with the YouTube channel also being where all of these streams then get uploaded to after the fact. And then other such sites that I link in my link tree is links to places I upload art to, like my little character in the corner as well as some sites where I upload some stories that I write, because writing is fun. And then, of course, finally, linked in my link tree is my Patreon, which is basically a big old donation bucket for the very, very kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.